Damn, how about that? I don't know. You click go live. I think we're live. You got something hooked up. I don't know what you got. Probably get ready to take all the lines up. Don't touch all them too much. I think we're live, but I don't know. You see people? Yes, we're live. Oh, there we go. You got something down here. Let me move this rod. Don't lose him. Don't. Don't lose him. Here, I'm going to have to get down there. He snagged. Well, no, he ain't. Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's got it. Big four. I don't know what pound. Oh, it's braid. It should hold him as long as it don't come out of his lip. Look at there. What's up, Bobby? Hey, Mid South. <laughs> Did he swallow it? No, it's hooking right at the lip. Now that's a lot of bait. <laughs> How are you supposed to hold them? They're kind of awkward. <laughs> hey, Dale Hayslip. Got some bait. We ain't cutting him up. You're not cutting him up? <laughs> He's dirty now. Look at them big old scales. The smallest rod goes off with a <laughs> worm on it. <laughs> Tony said they bet on worms. They're strong. What's up? Tell you my video to work. Oh. Well, she finally got her a carp <laughs> on that little rod over there. A little boogie rod. <laughs> it wasn't 10 feet from the bank. <laughs> it's going to end up whooping her. <laughs> Okay. You gonna weigh him? You want to? That's up to you. You grab the scale? Yeah, I'll grab him. Let me put my camera here in case he whoops you. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably going to. Hmm. Is that the biggest part of the shop? Uh. Yeah, that I've landed in a long time. Yeah, that I remember. When I was a kid, I'd catch them accidentally, but we were on like like little four pound test. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How do you get this in their pie hole? I don't know. Man, he's mad. Oh, he's got a hole in his lip. Are they real thin lipped? Probably. Here, I'll supposedly. Okay. I'm going to get that. Works. Wow. That's why I said he'd carp that big in that little pond. I'm taking yeah, it we back did have a bite on that first catfish rod over there. He may have got the bait. I don't know if that was. They said we had bait, but if you don't want to cut him up. <laughs> No, I ain't gonna cut him. Okay. I'll try not to kill him unless I'm gonna use it all. I mean, it ain't no sense cutting him up. 
Might, right, but I don't want to kill that one just to see. Yeah, we put him in right there. It's deeper. Whoa! And there he goes. So, thank God, just let me go. <laughs> that was fun. I think she's gonna get him in on that little rod. It was just screaming. The highlight of the day. <laughs> Hopefully. What's up, Paul? Huh? They're in the bucket. <laughs> I'm telling you, this tree sperm got me a little messed up. Okay, let me say hi to everybody since we went live on the fly. Okay. Hey, Steve Merchant. Hunting and stuff. What's up? And Sal said, no, she haven't tried to light a fire with no one to blame for the wood being bad. <laughs> he must be talking to Rudd. Yeah. Rudd's caught fish. I've seen pictures. <laughs> he's actually caught a few while he's been with us, too. What's up, Dale? If I had a dollar for every time she threw a fish on the ground, I could pay off my boat. <laughs> hey, they throw themselves on the ground. They're strong. Red. <laughs> it's just a hell of a lover. Who are you talking to? What's up, Troy? <laughs> and Sampy was the first one in Mid South. You're slipping. So that yeah, that carp, that was awesome. I might be hooked now. Hey, Mike Young. Yeah, that was fun. Here I have been out for the last two days trying to catch a carp. And we get out here catfishing. On that first rod? One of them. Mine's Well, the only one that's tied is the fourth one. Let's watch them. Can y'all see the rods? Not, but... I hope so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just left them land. Sorry. What's that land to? Dale! I talked to you last night in my life. So did everybody else. Just so you know. Everybody was talking to you and you weren't even there. Right mid south. Right well, Mo Dog's not here, but we can talk like he is, right? Hey Mo Dog. What's up, Lynn? Carolina Kayak. Pamela Co Outdoor Adventures. Hey. What's up? Welcome in. I just caught like my first carp as a probably is <laughs> since Oh, that's probably going to cause my screen to go dim, and I'll probably have to go out and back in. I got a call. Well, you just put a thing on to kill your calls while you're alive. Must have been why your head was hurting. Probably, Dale. You should have seen them. They were being so mean. 
they were they were saying hi to people that weren't in here. Tony and and you and uh, Reef Robber. Like I don't look at the chat and read every bit of it. But yeah, they were like, hi, and, and Mid South was having whole conversations. So was the Mo Dog. Whole conversations with you guys. So just so you know. They'll be making other people think that whoever they're talking to blocked them or something. Yeah, that's what it was. They were trying to say that to me, maybe. I don't know. Uh Lynn said, Hey Travis. Hey Lynn. Hey everybody. Mincy, I said, Dale, who has the BOGO on NOR? Dug out bait and tackle in Marietta, Georgia, Siegel said. Hey, Queen Hiss. Thank you. Queen Hiss. Man, I tell you what, I, I want to catch more carp. <laughs> oh, God. He was all over the place, zigzagging. He did fight better than a catfish, and he was just uh, right about eight pounds. Eight, or, yeah, wasn't eight, it? Nine, one. Seven, nine, one. Thank you, Queen Hiss. Oh, Lord, Mitchell's doing it again. He said, Earl, I love the video, one of your best shits. That, see, that's what they were doing, Dale. <laughs> I'll read it. I don't care. Dale said, I'm mad at Mo Dog. He went fishing without me this morning. <gasps> Did he? That low down, dirty yellow dog. We'll have to give him some grief when he comes in here, if he does. Ah, uh, now that's in my head, John. Hello, Mr. John Parker. He said, Get along home, Cindy, Cindy. But I can't go yet, John. I got to catch a fish. I know I can't fish worth the lick, so it may take a bit. I told Travis yesterday I couldn't fish worth a lick. Mo Dog got timed out for that. <laughs> oh, Mid South said I've already timed him out, Cindy. Okay. Then he kept sending you photos of fish. <gasps> Dale, are you really friends with him? Is he really your friend? I think you need to reevaluate. <laughs> I really do. He also like waits till you move out of spots and have the fish primed and he goes in behind you and catches them. Mo Dog is not a friend. He's my friend though. He's a member of my channel, so but he's not your friend. I like him. What's up, Gerald? John said, Hey there, Travis. I saw him uh he did a Quick pop up earlier today. Unboxing or somebody sent him a sign for his yard. I watch all this stuff. Some of them I don't comment sometimes. Dale said I should have left stickers all over Clifford. <gasps> you should have. Oh, that would be great. That's a plan for next time. John said, Mid-South, I think me and you need to have a 1v1 for the boy you can't fish worth a lick trophy. <gasps> <laughs> Mid-South said, John, let's do it right now. I'm in my living room and I still will not lose to you. <laughs> I think you should do it, Mid-South. You and John Parker, I would. that would be epic. If y'all said it for like a week out, everybody would come and watch John Parker against Mid South. That would be the like the talk of the year. I might get uh, nominated for some kind of Golden Whiskers. Mid South said Jacob Howe's work. You're here early. <laughs> Mid South is such a dirt. <sighs> Gerald said, I'm just about to eat supper. I'll be back around 7, Cindy, catch some fish. I just caught a carp, like 7.91 pounds. I've been trying to catch a carp for two days and get out here, and that's first fish. So that means I can't fish on Teleco for even carp, and they say they're in there. His bad attitude about Teleco is rubbing off on me. 
Dale said, Mid-South goldfish don't count. <laughs> Mid-South said, Dale, they do against John Parker. <laughs> This is one of our this is one of our kind of favorite spots. One we try a lot. <laughs> it is nice here. All the, the places that we fish around the lakes here are nice. But I like being out outdoors and in so what's up, Lance? Hey Curtis. You know Lance, Curtis? Curtis said, hello, Cindy and Travis. And I'm surprised he didn't say, wake up, Travis. <laughs> Dale said, so once again, fish get caught while you're not watching. Yeah. You'll have to go back. We had to start the live without any of the fanfare. Just hit, uh, had Travis hit go live. Because that fish was already on. <laughs> Mid South said, Can't fish Dave, get out, or I'll kick you out of this chat. I don't want you here. <laughs> What's up, Pity Cent? How are you? Donald Long said, Howdy, Miss Cindy and Travis. Glad you finally got you a car. I know. And they, it, they do fight hard. He did not want to come in. <laughs> Mid South said, Stop trying and walk away. Mid South said, I knew he'd keep you happy. Dale said, I did go back to verify and saw it. <laughs> and you see me throw it down. I throw down all the fish I catch. <laughs> I got to make sure they're hardy. <laughs> if you have no wimp blood stock in the lake. <laughs> if they can't survive me, then they don't need to breed. <laughs> Oh, God. You banned him? Well, that's good, Mitzel. <laughs> I think it, you secretly have a thing. I don't know. Mitzel. Catfish Dave takes up a lot of space and a lot of heads for some reason. He does. He does. He definitely did it. Dale said, Mid-South, how do you still have a wrench? You trying to steal Cindy from Travis? <laughs> Isn't he always trying to steal every woman? He hasn't he hasn't come up with a houseboat yet. Travis only has to start sweating if the houseboat comes into play. And then me and Travis will just move in the houseboat. <laughs> we'll tie Mid-South up and throw him in the closet. <laughs> Next, I said, Hitch, yeah, it's been a busy day here, too. Hope the rest of your day goes better. <laughs> Until Otter Cat comes in, and uh, it, is it Hitch that does the other part? When somebody comes in and says, Did you catch anything? They were like, Yeah, it's seven. seven. And they were huge. <laughs> I tell the truth, and they're, they're telling the fish stories for me. I said, Cindy, I do have a thing. Want me to send you a pic of it? <laughs> if you can find it. <sighs> oh, that was bad. And what I said back was bad. Warren Farley, welcome in. What up, Warren? He said, John Parker's still fantasizing about my 30 pound fish. Question mark. He had a 1v1 the other night. John Parker, you got to keep the trophy, didn't you? You need to get a belt. Dale said, time to go pick up pizza. Behave itself. You need to have that stuff delivered so you can stay in the live, Bill. Mitzel said, I only want one of the ladies on YouTube, and I ain't saying which one. You only want one at a time. Maybe. No, I don't think you only want one at a time. 
Mid South said it isn't Cindy. I can't afford her. <laughs> he said it's somewhere near the west spot when he peed. <laughs> I could be so mean right now, and I'm not. How is that big old cart flopping right up there next to the bank and not be us not be able to see it? I don't know. I don't know if that was him or not. Mid South said that he does Domino's carry out because he's as cheap as me. Me too. I won't have him deliver. But I don't live I don't even live a probably half a mile from it, so pizza sounds pretty good. I got two frozen ones in the freezer. Oh, I had a DiGiorno with the flaky crust, mm -hmm. like a croissant crust that I got from UGO. It was good. We had it the other day. mid -South said, Hitch, do you hear that sh she's saying about me? That's worse than me than not sending me a kayak. <laughs> you need your sugar mama to send you a kayak. You ain't going to get another dude to send you one. Well... Not some dudes, anyway. He's still talking to Hitch, who's not here. <laughs> well, I'm sad that that uh, first rod's not getting a bite anymore. You may get the bite off. I'll check it in a minute. Troy will hook you up. Now that may be the case. If you put out some content there. You do put out content. Not as good as AutoCats, but I mean, you know, everybody can't be AutoCat. We need to go down there and fish near where AutoCat is. So y'all didn't get a bunch of bites last night? No. No. I ended up catching them too. And How did you manage to rest them from Mike's grasp? You well, beat him to them? I was next to the two rods I threw out. Oh, uh, they were your rods? No. Well, they were on my side. <laughs> and so I said, I mean, Angela might be hot. I don't know. She still has that husband problem, though. Troy said she's very hot mid south. What's up, Rod? Hey, hey. This place is popular. Sounds like they hit that bitch up there. It does sound like that. See, I fail to see how the place I fished last night is much different than this. You got a can of corn in your car. But they seem to like nightcrawler bears. Well, no. This wind can stop. Like a little bit of rain. Really? It's so bad. Mid South said, Jake, have you taken Earl out recently? Can y'all hear the uh, wind? Do I need to get the curler? I thought I saw that first rod bounce, but maybe it was the wind. I was actually more interested in the second rod. He acted like a line was wanting straight out in the wind. Rod said he's grilling burgers and watching us. Grilling the burgers. What's up, John boy? How's it going? It's Wednesday. Did you hear my voice? <laughs> Man, I remember that tree last year. 
Want to pull the Navi on it? Yes. Sound is great at the moment. Hey, Angela. Welcome in. <laughs> Thread pin. Did y'all get them last night? Angela, I caught a carp. I caught a carp. It was uh, amazing. They're so cool looking with their big old scales. I think I like them too now. I might be hooked. What's up, Zed? I don't want no rain. It needs to go on. Sun was shining a minute ago. We're having some bands of showers go through, though. Well, you know, I like I'd hooked into some as a kid. I caught some small ones probably on a little rod. And I was a kid, so. That was a big part. I mean, that wasn't big as far as carps go. I've seen a lot bigger, but. He was all over the place, and I caught him on a little bluegill rod. The ceiling, the price of gas, taxes. <laughs> right, Zed? Price of groceries. Yep. The lake is almost all the way back up now to summer pool. And although there's less bank line to fish, I just like the way it looks better. It looks awesome. So if it, if it starts raining, we'll have to uh, throw the chairs in the car and hop in the car for a minute. Maybe it'll blow on over. Did you look at the radar? Oh, Zed said, uh, OMFG, I went shopping this morning. I know. I go to the little discount store that we have here local. And I mean, there, there's some good good deals on stuff there. Hmm. And... uh. About the cheapest thing ever get out of there is eighty bucks. They're tiny. What am I supposed to do with them? <laughs> so little. Get you on. <gasps> you better give me them hooks. Get your. <laughs> Mid South said, Angela, my one true love. Is that who you were talking about earlier, Mid South? What's up, Eddie Gross? How you doing, Eddie? <laughs> he put a little, a bunch of anger face emojis in there about going grocery shopping. I feel you. Hmm. That'll empty your wallet. Yeah. I thought that boat was going to get away from him. First said X is an O, mid south X is an O. <laughs> Aberdeen. And Sal said, no, Cindy, she already has one husband too many. So who do we know on, on YouTube that doesn't have a husband? Becca. Becca doesn't have a husband. Sandy doesn't have a husband. Mm. Wind, stop.
the wind what's causing the waves? Mid South, that's not funny. <laughs> Tony, Troy said, does her name start with a B, Mid-South? Ashley doesn't. Jody, do, Jody has a boyfriend, though. Rebecca doesn't. Lori doesn't. So are you saying it's one of them? I'd say that her name starts with an A. Ashley does have a boyfriend, though. Yeah. Men South does chase Becca a lot. He does. Jody is with James. Said, said, Mid has been eyeing all the single women here. Yes, he has. He's, no, I'm giving examples of non married women, he said. Listen to that little boat. It's listing the starboard a little bit. Why is it sitting that set far over? You see that? Well, it's sitting on one side of I know, but dang. Rod said, I wanted to go fish. I was going to. I was going to go fishing today, but the 40 mile an hour winds, I wasn't about to fight that. Zed said, yo, okay, if you say so. Never heard, what, never heard of her, James, or Mid-South? He said, James who? And so said, Kim isn't married, Redbird isn't married, and so on and so forth. I'm still betting yours starts with an A. But I don't, she's not on YouTube, so. Yeah, calm down, Wins. <laughs> Troy said Mid South is reading off of his list. <laughs> Ashley is are they fighting? They could be mating, but they took off. Oh. It's hard to tell the difference. But there's that one big old duck. Wow, look at him fly. I never seen him fly before, I don't think. He barely does get up out of the water, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. You're Ashley. Mid South. Ashley's too young, lives too far away, and has better taste than men, Mid South said. <laughs> Sheen on YouTube. That's what I said. You're you're actually not on YouTube. Angela said, "Venture America starts with an A." <laughs> <laughs> Miss South said, besides, has anyone ever seen my Ashley or did I just make her up? Have I seen Ashley in on Facebook? You might have made her up, Miss South. If so, that's real sad. 
and you might need some counseling. And now I just think you did. Yep. Mitchell ain't got no woman. He goes dancing by himself. That's sad too. What's up, Sampy? What up, Sampy? <clears throat> oh, oh, it was back. Oh, what that is. The water's stirred up now. It's a little muddy right there, too. It's harder to see. BFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
<laughs> Mid South said I looked you up on Google Maps and then used Google Peeper, their new service to video into bedrooms. <laughs> oh God. You have been taking it easy. I haven't I've been oh 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 got a bite on that little rod. Oh, it's gonna go. Let him take it. He come back to it. He didn't do like that other one did. That other one just took off with it. See, that water got all muddy right in there. That thing ain't nothing but 15 feet from the bank. Yeah. Just set it back down. Bottom. <laughs> he was all excited to try to want to catch another car. <laughs> Dang it. That's far. I said, Lisa, you know Midnight Bot is really Mid South's girlfriend. You should either be ashamed or lead a class. <laughs> is it a 10 foot by 35 by 40 foot? Oh, okay. That's a decent sized garden. Hess was eating. Oh. oh no! Did I scare it? Mm -hmm. I don't know either. Who are we feeling bad for? Two nights she caught nothing until she remembered to bring the one thing she forgot, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> they said you could squeeze a little bit of pack bait around the sinker. I said, Jake, I'm with you. She's going to miss this one. <laughs> Ron said about a week and a half, Scott. Okay, I've got the skip jack right and pull the curry tails off of it. It's got three hooks on it. Now, we've got this pack bait. This is JBT special. Dale said, place your bets on it. It was Travis tapping the rod with his foot. I saw it. Y'all are mean. Now, actually, what I done earlier when I got here was I took some of this stuff that she got from JBT, and I slung her on, around the shoreline out there. Because I figured, well, she's wanting to catch a carp. Let's see if this stuff works. Scotty said, okay, I'll be listening. I'm fishing. Now. Mitch, I said, Jake, that's not nice. No, she can't fish worth a league, but don't say it. <laughs> And South, you've been mean to me lately. 
we're going to take. And he said, I hope you're better at it than Cindy. Up, we're going to pack some on these woohoo jig heads. Now Troy's doing it too. He said, That's a great video, Mo Dog. My dog don't rub it in like that. Dale caught a fish at Kroger. He did chum for me. <laughs> in South. He said you chummed for her? I chummed it up for her. Scotty said, I'm ready for the trip with you, Ron. I wonder if it got my, my bait. I don't know. Just started, it must have moved it a little bit and ran it off. Oh, I think it's messing with it again. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's an old <laughs> Man, so I said two nards for $4,200 seems awesome. <laughs> yes. Hey, Where are you? You good? Are they not on her? Well, he stopped running. You sure that was the one that was gone? Yeah. Because I just seen this one jiggle. It's down. It's black rod. That I've got on clip. Remember that black rod, though? It's got a head on it, so. Whoa. Something got hit hard over here. Oh, third rod. What's that down though? Tighten the flash on that third one. Okay. I thought I was going to put the pipe back on these. We'll let her mess around over with that. We're doing good day. Come on, fish. Cooperate. You can pull that uh, bluegill rod in if you want to. I'm going to throw this pack bait stuff out there. Okay, here's what we got, people. Uh, it did get oh, it did get to it. Yeah. Okay, here's what we got. We'll throw this out there. So we can get in there. <laughs> They're huge. Hey, Otter Cat. <laughs> I, I caught one. I caught a carp. Hey, Hitch. What's up, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> that happened perfect. It's the same too every time that do it. <laughs> Joe came back. He said, "I'm back. Any more, <laughs> any more fish?" Oh, I had a uh, a bite trying to catch some carp, but I, yeah. Okay, Lisa. Huh? Okay. Yeah, you did. It's not on it. I saw it. It's not. It's not over. Did you have a worm on this one? Yeah. Where they at? Mid South Mo Dog says he'll pay half if you'll deliver.
Hitchhiked said you said it. Autocat and Hitchhiked do that every time. Jackson Sat says it's about the NAR bring on the surf current, wind, tide, and the elements. These are the focus of our design. Dale said, I thought Mid-South time Jake out again. I guess not. What's up, Jake and Otter Cat? Dobson, hey, what's up, Willie? Willie, Willie, Willie. What's up, Greg Burgess? Well, Greg, Otter Cat, hitch by hitch. Yep. Willie. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we get another one more. Put on their fish and kayak page, they get it one dot for strong current moving water. Well, said, What's the Gerald said, y'all sub Daughter Cat. It'll be live May 33rd again. Daughter mm -hmm. Cat said, I got your back, Hitch. Yeah. Strong current moving water equals class two rapids. <laughs> Welcome back, Hitch. He's been talking to you, Hitch. He timed out can't fish, Davey said. Rod said, I got a carp video coming out in the morning. See that? Look at that little squirrel. It's Whittle. A little tiny squirrel over there. Look at it. It's not a baby, but it's not a grown up. Can't <laughs> Jake, it looks like it might, but we're hoping it'll blow on over. That's the hope. It rained earlier. You know what? Oh, see it flop out there. Where out there, uh, a lot out there. Well, I was trying to guesstimate. About a hundred yards. <laughs> Pineapple upside down cake. Hello, the lovely Maria. What are you doing? What's up, Monty? Um, we're catfishing and carp fishing. Ah! Oh, it's good, yeah. You good? Yeah. Oh, he done went plumb up for Cross through there. I'll never get her off this carp fish. <laughs> yep, another carp. Oh, she's going to crawl down on the bank down there now. Ooh, what is that? Is that a carp? Yeah, that's a big carp.
JBT's uh, pack bait seems to work pretty good if there's carp out there. I think that's bigger than the last one. <laughs> that is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to weigh that one? I don't know. He's probably about the same. What are they saying in check? Do they want it weighed? <laughs> He's going to weigh it. Uh, we're fishing for whatever money. Hang on a second. Oh. Uh, hit the no comment. Nice car. Nice size. Uh, that fish looks like a mid south in the kayak rolling around. It's flashing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. Nah, we'll put him back. But look Careful at him, make him big. You should feel him. It's a pretty big size one. It's probably a 10-pounder. They're so thick. And look at them scales are huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll go ahead and put him back in. If, uh, <laughs> here, I'll get a picture for you. Okay. <laughs> I think she got tickled a little bit over that. Huh? Now. <laughs> Well, bring me the rod back. <laughs> Do this again, I guess. I'm going to set this rod over here uh, in front of the camera so you can see it take off. When it, if it does again, I'll see it. It's pretty Sorry. cool on that flimsy rod. <clears throat> well, that was the tank bait, people. Oh, he about bent that hook out. What? He about bent that last hook out. He about bent it? Yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, throw that other rod out with that worm on it. I was like, I found some sinkers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Carp fishing is your favorite kind of fishing, Mommy? That's fun. They're big. I mean, they fight real good. I don't, they're not so big, but they fight real good. Scotty said, if I had someone or anything like that, I'm sorry in advance I have you in my pocket. <laughs> Who said that about the carp? Oh, it's a deal. Mitchell said 1.34 ounces. Rod said 8 pounds. The last one was eight, right about 8 pounds. CEO said 13.69. Gerald said, let it go. Willie said, yeah, buddy. Mitchell said, CEO, this message is brought to you by the letters F and U. <laughs> What's well, there's random fishing now? Don't time out random random fishing, Hunter. He already got his. Dobson Willie said that's what she said. <laughs> they said, "Hey, Hunter, bye, Hunter." It would not be even funny. Cindy got a fish. That makes two for the night. Yay! <laughs> Carp fishing for the wind. <laughs> Dale said mid first underwater. Rod said, I wouldn't give you a dime for a truckload of them as far as eating, but they're a blast to catch. 
Oh yeah. I, I don't think I've ever tried to eat carp. Shoo. I do need some more pack bait though. He uh um hmm. Yakity Yak sent us a and it was like oatmeal and he was using like a can of peaches. I seen that video that you said. The lucky rod bounced. I guess it's not going to be my ass anymore. It's the lucky rod. Oh, these Maybe it was the wind. Otter Cat said, Cindy is diversified. Well, I tell you what. When the catfish are being stubborn. And you still want the fight. Oh, everybody that I was watching that fishes and stuff catfishes and stuff we're talking about how hard a uh carp fall i was like yeah i'm gonna do that so yeah i don't think you can catch a 50 pound carp but hey you might be able to <laughs> apparently where we was talking last night there's some big old carp over there really yeah willie said i swear they're the best fighter fight in my waters wait till you hook a 30 Oh, God. That's what they was talking about. They was a bunch of uh, 20 to 40 pounds. Of oh, I'd die. Mid-South said she diversified from catching nothing to catching something. Mid-South, show me your fish. <laughs> <laughs> show me yours. The bite's been rough around here for everybody. But I'll go one v one with you. Here, turkey. We may catch turkey next. <laughs> uh, there you go again. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Looks like a vibration. I think he's still there. Yeah. Good tight that day. Oh, I think I got, yeah, I think better. No, I don't know. You got it. What is it? <laughs> That's a big old boy. Yes, we got wild bait. If you can get that hook out of his throat. <laughs> That's a red ear, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's peeing. <laughs> He had to pee on me. He was trying to pee towards me. Oh, we got now. Be nice when we keep him alive. Oh. The one I pulled, uh, did yesterday, I, I ended up pulling it. I'll put him out there hole. Yeah. We had to decide between this and our flathead spot. Whoa. <laughs> He's kind of mad. He's kind of mad. Open your pie hole, fish. Okay, buddy. I'm all... You might actually get to live. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I can get this hook out of you. Then you're gonna swim her up out there with a hook in your back for a little. Oh, while. I got my butt real dirty. Look, I just got my chair dirty. Well, you slid all the way down that body. <laughs> Listen, I had to get the fish. Get it. I got it. <laughs> He's bleeding a little bit, but it should be okay to fish with. Water. Is that on? No, I'm going to a lot of birds. No, a lot of them. 
Where did we throw this one? Okay, I almost said it down there. You can throw it out. <laughs> he seems pretty mad about being in the bucket. Got a dirty butt. What's up, Rebel River Cats? Double up on the no stink skunk. Dale said at least they got bigger because I was here. Gerald said Cindy got a fish and I was here to see it. Crazy. Amazing. Angela said Mid-South, we all saw the sturgeon. Good job, Cindy. <laughs> He's not happy. No. He's like, this is not enough water for me. Carp do fight hard. Yeah, it was a blast. Well, he said, I've ate some good carp. The key is to cook it in, in an oak board and throw away the carp and eat the board. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Annie Finn, what's up? It's super fun to catch a... <laughs> That's a funny. I read that right out. <laughs> Them things are falling out of the tree. That I, my, my hair is full of them. It's all blown around, too. And I worked 10 hours today, so. Gerald said, I've caught some 20-pound carp here in the past. I'd like to. Mid-South said, I'll show you mine, baby. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Dale said, AA, we may need to have an intervention for Mid-South. I'm concerned he's gone to talking to himself, thinking that I haven't talked to Mo Dog today. There is the pack bait. Sounds delicious, Dobson, that <laughs> Troy said. Did Bob really come in? No. Y'all are messing with me. Oh, unless that's real river cats. Oh, no, it's any pen. Mid-South said, 1v1 accepted. You're better mine. <laughs> that's it, my gun. Gerald said, that's a big brim. Did it throw, all of it throw off? Any fan said, shift that to me. I need it for Saturday. I'm going to have to keep it on a hook. Seagull said, quit playing with the bait, Cindy. I've got them cages, method feeders. And a little hook that you put corn on. I'm going to need that if I got the air. Rod said they're spawning if he pees on you. Well, he was trying to spawn everywhere. <laughs> yes, all right. Be careful, Kiss. Otter said when they used to run warm water at Kingston, I used to catch the far out of buffaloes while striped fishing. Um, in City Cold, they're having the, the buffalo runs happening right now. Somebody went up there and snagged a whole bunch of them. Don't know what they wanted with them, but I'll put them in a the garden. I put them in a the garden. Mm -hmm. Fertilize it. Oh, okay. Well, there's a ton of them in City Cold. It's it gets so thick that all you can see is the backs of them fish. Morgan said, "I wish both of you get a job." I have one, Morgan. I, I don't want any more than I have. Gerald said, oh, I like that three-hook setup for the carp. That was a, a skipjack <laughs> rig. I just took the... <laughs> he took the curly tails off. <laughs> Man. It's so I said, Seagull, I'm invited, am I invited to y'all's wedding? Dale said, oh, no, it's Burrito's nemesis, Captain Morgan. Well, he's probably said Oh, Morgan okay. Out. Hey, Gerald's dad. I'm glad you finally made it in. 
Adventures and stories of fishing for claimers. Hello, oh, girl, bud. Um, I was fishing with corn last night by itself, but I was in a different spot, so. Mr. Rogers said, "Howdy, howdy! Was how big was he? I caught two of them. They were they were close to the same weight, which is about eight pounds. The fir first one was seven nine. That second one might have been a little bit bigger, but around eight. Dale said, "Me, uh, mid south, you're the best man. We're getting married at dugout." Lisa said, "Captain, be nice." Yeah. So both of you are, are fishing for claimers. Okay. That's awesome. Wish she'd have been in here a few minutes ago. Shredded wheat works good. Yeah, he his was a a, a tube of oats or a half a tube of oats. And he was saying what to do if it dried out. But he uses peaches in his. Canned peaches. Huh? A can of peaches. Yeah. I don't know. That other one's uh, got up from it. There you go. Yeah, I've got the method feeders right there on the car. And the little, uh, what you call it? What are they called? Yeah, you put them inside, you put the pack bait inside that and it lasts longer. Yeah. It holds it better. Cornmeal. Dale said, I like peaches. Oh gosh, really love your peaches. Want to shake your tree. Morgan said, you be nice. I'm your bait man, <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> he seems pretty fasty. He has my old phone, so he uses my YouTube account. I need to set him up a new channel. Cindy, I'll go switch to my other channel, Outdoors for Life. Now, you won't be, uh, you won't have a... Uh, Ranch on that other channel, though, Gerald. Means of peaches, peaches free. <laughs> oh, we're about to have live bait out there. Okay, I got the. Now I got that in my head. You gonna throw me in? I'm a picker. I said, are you gonna throw me in? What? Those threads pins. I'm a picker. I'm a greener. I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. Look at that. Come on, fishes. Stop flipping around, fish. Yeah, I loved the. Uh, I loved catching them, Mister Rogers. Use peaches from the can or fresh. 
Um, they do run straight to the side. <laughs> what happened is your phone not your camera not wanting to come on. Potential flathead bait. Can you? Yeah, in that pack bait recipe, he was using cam peaches. Okay. I'll be able to tell you apart anyway. Mm. Looks like something might be missing. Was that middle rod? Okay. You have a can of peaches? Yeah, um, Yank Shore Outdoors sent me a, a pack bait recipe that all you really have to do is have a Ziploc baggie. And uh, there's like three, I think, three ingredients that he used. <laughs> and the thing that made it uh, like bind together, I think, was the can of peaches. He said any kind of fruit. Oh. I think that was about on one of the catfish rods. It's your travel day, but you're listening. Okay, Hitch. Hi, Angela. It's Gerald. It's just my other channel. Father is at his house on my channel, Fishing for Claimers. Yeah, that's Outdoors for Life is Gerald, Fishing for Claimers. She was all mouthy about a 1v1, but she got awful damn quiet, <laughs> mid South said. So, hey, Big Malone, what's up? That's good eating right here. There, come on, Flathead. Yeah. That's the dream. Hopefully there's one out there that'll eat. Ottercat said, can you hear me, Hitch? Morgan said, Travis put some shake and bake on that bait. <laughs> Yo. Shake and bake. Oh. Hold on, sir. Which one was getting a bite? That middle one. It was getting messed with a minute ago. I was pretty sure of it. There you go. Yeah, there's good sized flatheads in this water. I mean, I've caught several, at least 20 pound ones out of here. Travis has probably caught bigger than that, but my biggest flathead was caught out of a uh, Watts Bar. There's way bigger flatheads in here than I've caught out of here, that's for sure. I'm not sure what I've caught on this one, but down Watts Bar, I caught like 45, but there's bigger ones in here than that. I actually caught a big one on uh, one of the uh, tournaments. Oh, that was down in oh, Cumberland. Oh, was it Pacoma? Mm -hmm. 
Chris said Mid South Live at Five scheduled for four eighteen twenty four. <laughs> Watercat said the bar's got them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to get back down on the bar. I've been wanting to go. I was actually thinking about going to Kingston today. The water's back about. It's about the. I think it's about. It's under two foot from full pool down there too right now. So the lakes are almost full. About a foot and a half. And Dale said outdoors for life only when Cindy pushes fish in the mid south out of his kayak. Gerald said, "Yeah, we don't have flatheads here." Big Malone said, biggest cat is a 34 blue. I caught a 50 pound blue right out of here. Ned South said, Cindy is so bad at fishing, I bet she isn't sub daughter cat. <laughs> I may not be sub daughter cat. I believe I am, actually. But yet. After that one night, I'd Mid -South. Right in there. Yep, Mid South. You want to go? I would 1v1 you. Trying to influence a life from Mid South, Troy said. <laughs> Good night, Gerald's dad. Good night. Mid South said, Your bed or mine? Good Lord. Okay, it said, Oh my God, I'm devastated. Why are you devastated? Did I say what my personal best flathead was? Thirty-eight. It's thirty-eight. Dale said, "With all of Cat's amazing content, he sustained sixty-five subs for two weeks." Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. He always knows how many fish I've caught, though, and that they were huge. Seven, then. Yeah. You know, I hope it comes. <laughs> I hope y'all can say that for real soon. Thirty-eight is a very respectable catfish. Yeah, it was a it was a thirty-eight pound flathead too. So that's that one will probably be harder to break than my blue cat record. Our cat said, "You're not sub. Please, it ain't, please say it ain't so." I no, I am subbed. Mitchell said, "Counting to zero ain't hard." Okay, <laughs> it feels weird to be out of your channel, don't it? Dale said, "Pineapple on pizza, not tonight, but maybe next week." I love pineapple on pizza. Totally different kind of boat that I was than I was seeing uh, at that boat ramp last night. They're all big wake boats mostly. Bunch of big wake boats at that boat ramp last night. I mean, there's a couple of them that weren't, but who did the weather for who? Ah, what's up, Anthony J? Wilson. <laughs> no, Wilson's gone. 
<laughs> the temperature is 80 degrees. The wind is blowing from the southwest at four. And the current humidity is 89. I want to be there. It's a little chilly here. Troy said, Gerald is so mysterious. Never know who's go who he's going to be. And now you're talking about Willie. <laughs> Technical issues and I'm back. How many did I miss? Tell him, guys. Tell Willie how many he missed. Washington Courthouse, 73. 21 miles an hour, which that's a pretty decent wind to hit to 2%. Tony has been here since the beginning. Are you just now seeing him? Yeah. <laughs> but. What flag is that there, Troy? <laughs> Angela said seven. He missed seven. <laughs> It's always seven. Oh. You want? What's in your head? I'm running. Another one. They're going to blow you up. <laughs> and we call him and Lee if you want water. It's a spawning fish. Is it? Or egg. Oh, is it fat? Oh, yeah. You gonna put it back? Yep. Help that that fish. That thing is fat as can be. Oh, it is. That would have been more the size that we wanted to use. No, don't do it. I don't want to put them in the wild. I bet I can get it out there between them. Uh oh. Are you oh Lord, somebody's getting stricken. I'm kind of back to over in there. Why are you asking about his flag? You want to see his flagpole? I'm asking about that flag because I think y'all are doing it just to give him a hard time. Did I miss? Hey, Fresno. What's up? Willie said, I'm going to have to roll another one then. 0.7 grams. <laughs> Tommy said, Dob, that's lightweight. Angela said, Dobson's puff puff fast. <laughs> I'm back, yeah, I don't like not being on my channel, but I do it so my dad can come on and to watch. I'm a good son sometimes. <laughs> That is a flag of Scotland. I knew it was. 
That's why I was asking about it. <laughs> I'm sure you're always a good son, Gerald Angela said. Hmm. <laughs> Tony Gig. Billy said, Tony, I know, but I got to be conservative at the moment. Red just got his multi bars. <laughs> I am liking the carp. Gerald said, Cindy, you liking them carp, huh? They're definitely fun to catch. Hitch by Hitch said, What is Adventure, Adventure America's name? It's Troy. How far behind am I? Tommy said, conservation, not my strong point with that. <laughs> no. I fell asleep. I fall asleep and wake up with a boat tomorrow, Red said. I mean, like, you're going to wake up with it? Gerald said, hey, man, South, where's Sandy? Are you going to deliver it, Red? Ms. South said she's recuperating from running away from me. Red said, Travis is going out with me. Going out on the boat the first time I put it in the water. <laughs> Be right back, need a water. Hey, Mr. Tully. Did you hear that? Mm. You're going out with him the first time he puts it in the water. <laughs> Mint, I said, Red's getting a boat. Why hasn't he said anything about it? <laughs> Red said, I wish they delivered three hours there and three hours back. So how did Travis do on the Cadillac boat the other night? Tony said, they caught two under 10 pounds. So he did. Travis did. So we drove all over the lake. Willie said, I feel you, Anthony. I love me trees like Papa loves me him spinach. Dale said, go fold laundry. And Mid-South has a new boyfriend with a boat. <laughs> mm. What about that? Hmm. I said, what about that? Every time Dale steps out, something happens. Tommy said, did you get a Tennessee River Valley God service boat, Red? Mint South said, Sego, want to go halfsies on a BOGO NAR? Well, he said 1.7 G just for y'all. Love, 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 La Familia, baby. Red said, Anthony J, I didn't, but I'll be seeing him Friday. I'll have him give you a shout out. Angela said the Dobson's explicit channel puff puff pass. Puff puff said, Rudd, you're Billy's buddy. He said, I am friends with Billy, yes. <laughs> hey, Rudd, you should let Billy Billy drive your boat. Tommy said, that'd be awesome, Red Hill. Yeah, I like Billy's boat. 
I don't think I'd get on the boat with Billy. I'd be afraid I'd die. <laughs> That's a, he's clumsy as crap. There ain't no telling what he's going to do next. Red said, I'm friends with both Billy's, Milton Hill and fishing with Billy. Red said, hell no, Billy hit a damn buoy. <laughs> Is that why you won't get on there with him? I seen him sit there, and I don't know what he was thinking. I've seen him pull a little cart down to the lake and set catfish rods or whatever up on it and get the whole thing. He had to go in and grab it. I mean, I was I was thinking, well, what are you thinking? It's just a little cart. It's not going to, it's not anchored down or nothing. <laughs> it's just that I want a free trip with Billy. Red said, that's why he makes you wear a PFD every time you ride with him. He may have to if he's a guy. Troy yeah, said, they're, they're Billy not. is not your type, Mid-South. I don't know. They might get along <laughs> very well. Billy said, er, cough, cough. I mean, Billy seems like a likable guy, but, you know, I, I like my life. <laughs> Dale said, Mid-South, you buy the first one, and I'll pick up the second one. <laughs> I mean, Rudd's kind of likable, but I'm not going to jump on his boat, and he ain't never drove a boat before, and just jump on there and say, let's go. <laughs> Tony said, Billy is exactly Mid's type. They can bump Billy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. We can go bumping. <laughs> you can see them running down the lake, bumping bellies, doing about 50 mile an hour. Red said, Billy's funniest moment is when he set the hook with the clicker still on. Don't tell nobody that. <laughs> He'll lose all his business. And so I said, Seagull, are you saying they ain't they ain't worth $41.99? <laughs> $4,199. Troy said, I have a two-person kayak. Mid-South for real. Oh, that sounds like a fun time. Is it side by side or? Red said side? it's on his YouTube. Tony said, Travis and laugh, laugh emojis. Dale said, Mid, I already have one and no room for another kayak in the garage. They are absolutely worth $4,200. Mid South said, Troy, you ever seen a vertical kayak? <laughs> Angela said, He does, Mid South. I don't even know how to paddle. Don't even have to paddle. Not know how to paddle. <laughs> don't even have to paddle. Dale said, a watch pot never boils, but an unwatched pot will always boil over. Huh. That's true. Red said, I have a 20-foot kayak, and Travis won't ride it with me. <laughs> Tony said, a berth boat is worth 4200 too, <laughs> Seagull. Yeah, right. I'm not getting on that boat with you unless I'm driving. <laughs> Ain't crazy. Troy said, what size kayak mid south? Well, he said, I've hooked many fish with the clicker on. I just locked the reel first or thumbed the spool. <laughs> mid south said, hey, hey, any kayak I sit in. Rudd, did they don't break that motor in? It says, yeah, Billy never engaged the reel. He just free spooled, set the hook with the clicker on. So it didn't do anything, really. He also said, Mid, what happened to your OTs 106? Rudd said, you make the payments on it and you can drive it. <laughs> you own your own, though, I can tell you. Troy said, I have a 13-foot two-person. 
Tommy said Travis is going to drive the boat first. <laughs> if I'm in it, I'll be driving it first. I'll guarantee you that because I ain't jumping in no boat with an unexperienced boater. Not going to happen. And so I said, see what it sank when I sat in it. Red said, nope, got to break it in in the rain. Well, you're looking at about probably a couple hours just to break up motor in. You got to run at a certain speed for so long down the lake and then then a different speed. And then you got to idle so far and then you got to, it's, it's stupid. I don't know why they didn't just go ahead and break it in. That's stupid. It, uh, Mid South said, Travis, we want a video of him trying to back the boat up and trying to re reload the boat. What do you say he's putting in that? <laughs> Where are you putting in it? Seagull said, Tony, what boat can you buy for $4,200 that others won't try to get in with you? Dobson said, I've seen that before. Did it burden us the reel too? Brad said, I'll get experience for you. Seagull said, mid, that will happen when you have take the pew pews in a kayak. Willie said, you can motorboat me anytime, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> So he said, two person kayaks always look funny to me. Looks like two bean sprouts popping out. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. Rudd said, yep, and then a thousand dollar service. That's crazy. Ain't no way. He said, I told y'all already, if you forgot, that's too bad. He's putting in a Concord. I don't know. Mid South said, thousand dollar service, boy, buy some lube. <laughs> that, that's re that's retarded. Troy said, Mid South, you should do a twenty four hour live of falling out of your kayak. Back up some view hours and subscribers for real. Yep. Tommy said that's a good excellent point, Seagull. How did they justify a thousand dollar service? After the break, and that don't make no sense. What change the oil and the foot oil? Makes no sense. Dale said, "Did Red get MTIs on his boat? A thousand dollar service." That's what I'm saying. That's that's retarded. But no man did well. We after he bought his new pontoon boat, we went ahead and changed the foot oil and the and the oil in it. Red said, "Well, it's not exactly a thousand, but I got to change. I got to change break in oil, change lower gear oil, all that crap." That ain't no big deal. Gerald said, "How much should service be, Travis?" Not a thousand dollars, probably. Uh, if you're going to do it yourself, uh, now if you take it, probably no more than like. Three hundred dollars if you take it and get it done. Angela said, "Anthony J, there's nothing more romantic than going for a Nantucket sleigh ride with your sweetheart, being hauled by one of the biggest trout you've ever seen." <laughs> mm. Troy said, "The service on boats are ridiculous." Yeah, we d we went ahead and changed the oil and the foot oil in the old man's, and he bought a brand new pontoon boat that had a ninety Yamaha on it. Yeah, the and, uh, he keeps it at a dock so it was at the time I had a pontoon so I just took my pontoon trailer well we took my pontoon boat out there unloaded it and then loaded his and pulled it out of the water and we changed it right there to the lake Tony said do it yourself for uh, probably a lot cheaper Seagull said is that a duck swimming can't start Cindy after dark yet Brad said, yeah, but you got to take it to the dealer not to avoid the warranty. It'll be four or five hundred. Gerald said, oh, wow, huge difference. 
Tommy said, lower gear oil should last a lot longer than just break-in, not like the oil is going to be silver. What's up, Joshua? Got caught two carp. What's the warranty on that motor? What, five years? Ben South said you do not have to take it to their dealer to keep your warranty. Who fed you that line of poop? The ones that sold it to him. <laughs> no, you don't have to take it to them. All you got to do is get the receipt to where it was. Where it was serviced, yeah. <laughs> Tony said, trouts and bean sprouts, Mrs. MRA, Mrs. AA. <laughs> trouts and bean sprouts. <laughs> trouts and bean sprouts. <laughs> We need a rod bender. Uh, Troy said, I serviced our boat and we had, including oil lube, rebuild the water pump, spark plugs, and more for around 250 by myself. That's good, there. Five years, he said. Yeah, that's what the old man had on his Yamaha. I think it's the third or fourth year right now. We're going to have to take that thing out, but I, ain't, I got a key to it. We can go out there and take it out whenever we want. The water's up now, I think. Cool. We'll drag Cindy around on a tube. <laughs> he, he did cut, what, year before last? Mm -hmm. I nearly drowned. I'm Mid South said, I'm starting to understand how there's such a thing as a $36,000 jumbo. Well, Gerald said, here, kitty, kitty. Hitch by Hitch said, it is important to change the oil after that break-in. I agree with that, yeah. It is It is important. Because you could end up with metal or anything in that thing from the, from the break-in. Jake from State Farm has a big boat with a top on it. Looks like mm -hmm. Michael's. I've seen it on a sticker. <laughs> mm -hmm. A $32,000 John boat, Rudd said. Yeah, that's what it is, a John boat. Dale said, now y'all know why I have kayaks instead of service cost. I get to buy more accessories and fishing gear. Mansell said, why do oil filters not work? <laughs> yeah, they work. Mansell said, see, you already saved $4,000. <laughs> Angela said, do you know what boat stands for? Break, break out another thousand. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why Travis won't hardly take his out. <laughs> it's, always, it's always something. Always. I did start charging my batteries yesterday, so we may end up probably not, but <laughs> Tony said Sego the bean sprout comes with fertilizer. I may actually start doing some lives uh because Ricky's getting ready to get his Get that little boat he's got out, and Willie said, "Like a good neighbor." <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be fishing quite a bit, actually. He likes staying out a long time. So, Troy said, "The service cost of my kayak is zero. I wouldn't mind doing a kayak, but Good said, I'm but it's not got sure about my back and being able to twist around and get a rod or something or another, right?" Red said, it's got everything on it. it. Won't need anything. Multi-bars, Garmin 10, live scope, Altera troll motor. I'm set for a good minute. Yeah, but you still got to get all that stuff put on it. Take it over to Michael. He'll put it on there. Jake said, I won't rely on a filter on a $20,000 motor. <laughs> fish, fish, fish. Fish still there. 
maybe. He had it for a second. He set it back down. What I do? Leave that thing locked. Cause I didn't hear no drag. Thank you. Makes me wonder if there's even any pack bait on that other. After that, this on the time, probably not. So tomorrow is the big day for Rudd, right? You know, said Uncle Rudd, that does sound nice. We do need to get some video of him uh, backing that boat in the water. Tony said, I'll be in Rustic Outdoors Skipjack Tournament, people, Saturday morning. Make sure y'all tune in. What is it? At like nine? What kind of tournament? It's Skipjack Tournament. Uh, he said that we should have went up there and got in on it. There's several people from down here going, I guess. From the bank skipjack tournament. Well, what's the winner get all the skipjack? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch that just to watch everybody's uh, skipjack spot. Willie said, "I've saved so much money by not buying a car or a boat or a house, and I'm still broke. What the hell?" Red said, "I'm too lazy for a kayak. Shh. You like a boat? Ain't a lot of work." Red, check your wheel bearings. When you leave your house, drive about two miles, pull over, and fill the hubs on your trailer. Fill the hubs, yeah. Put your hand on your hub, just around it there. And if you if you can't do that without it burning you, then you better go back home and figure out what's wrong if you can keep your hand on it yeah you gotta be able to keep your hand on it just in case catfishing is a great setup for kitties gerald said tori said i can even stay in my kayak tommy said does that mean you're gonna catch fish now red <laughs> red said it's it's on it all i gotta do is put multi bars on Red said, Anthony J, yeah, boat is the only way to catch them on Loudon these days, and even then it's tough. Yeah, we was out last night until almost one o'clock. And caught two little cats. Two dragons. So there you go, Red. Troy said, how's the editing coming on those videos, mid -cell? Gerald said, who's running that rustic on his channel? Tommy said, y'all got like 15 lakes and dams relatively close, but y'all are always on lousy. He said, I'll be live. I'm sure rustic will be too. Loudon is kind of central. Yeah. It was. So it's farther to go to what's far, but I think the next place I want to go to is is uh down there, either Kingston or I don't know. Have you ever seen anybody black out their wheels with brake dust? Joe said, I need to replace the bearing buddies on mine. Hub stay cool, but slinging some grease. Yeah. That's okay, as long as you got a grease gun in your truck. Tony said, they can't put the multi-bars on for you? They won't, because it'll avoid the warranty. 
Red said they can, but I had them shipped to me instead of there. Rather have Graham or someone help me with them. Gerald said, okay, Tony, be there. Tony said, you're the best, Gerald. Uh, Tony, is it at like nine? Red said, we can take the boat to Kingston. We'll leave Travis on the bank. I like fishing the bank. I actually like fish in the bank, too. Buttercat said, I had a brand new bearing go to me last year. Wheel came off and took the fender running board with it. Fun. Brand new, huh? Well, you want to stop and tickle. Yep. He's like, Travis will pull his to the gas station and then get out and mess with, touch the hub. Yep. I'll start, usually stop at the gas station. That's what, I, I usually don't gas the boat up. That way I'll stop, check the bearings and everything. That That's the way, because I'm going to drive an hour anyway. So. Willie said, I thought that's how we got the rims mat. The what? That's how, I thought that's how we got the rims mat. <laughs> yeah, Willie. <laughs> They're definitely mat. Dale said, there's your problem, Watercat. I ain't got no fender or running board. I need to wash my car, okay? But I'm working 48, 50-hour weeks. I ain't got the energy for it. Because I'm going to have to scrub it. Watercat said, no roar, no wobble, no warning. That's crazy. Just gone, huh? I've got that car. I've got a uh, vibration in the front end of it. No, Dale, that's not a priority, though. <laughs> he said if you got the energy to fish you got the energy to wash your car no there's two totally different things it's going to take a lot to wash my car it don't take much to go fishing plus going fishing calms my my nerves down and makes me yeah more zen washing my car just probably yeah that cast is definitely getting a carp I feel it Travis he's probably do it that one, they all of it stayed on there and everything. So that's what Gerald said. Dale said, I ain't got the energy to mow the yard or fish, but I watched Cindy after dark. See, priorities. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> While drinking, Seagull said, Man, I keep saying, I mean, I know I need to go wash my stinking car, but I'm gonna have to try to scrub the tires. Look what he's got for tires. Are you going to clean my tires? I can't stand it. <laughs> Look. Come here. <laughs> I got to clean this. <laughs> you hushing, Travis. Like I, that's my driveway. When I go, if, when I go back home and park, I'll be in the... Mud under the carport. <laughs> I can't stay up till midnight, Gerald, but it's good to have that extra couple of hours buffing buffer. Whenever I take vacation time, I'll be staying out that late on the. Uh, Cindy after dark. Gerald said, I already put out the memo from 6 to 12 on Wednesdays. Don't bother me. I'll be at Skipjack Cindy's. <laughs> Sego said, aren't you supposed to use cleaner? No. Nah. Angela said, that's a good man, Travis. 
Troy said, Travis, my wheels need buffed also. Bring them up here. Pottercat said, you know, the fishing is good when. <laughs> right here, you missed the spot. <laughs> In here, too. <laughs> hey, this is actually pretty cool. You can get back behind me. Well, look at that. <laughs> That's probably Rob been over while nobody's looking at him. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Angela said that works pretty good. Gerald said, I don't think Travis likes to sit still. <laughs> Gerald said, that's funny. He said, did you tell him he missed a spot? I did. Well, he still missed that spot. <laughs> there you, go. you got me. <laughs> hey, Queen Hess. Hitch my hitch said your car ain't even dirty. Look, it ain't even dirty. Look at it. My car is filthy. I can't see out of the window. Y'all, the people that was in chat last night saw. Saw that you can't see out my window. Gerald said, that's freaking funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he does his look. His knees, uh, well, actually, he must have stopped and washed his pretty recently. But look at them wheels. They're clean. <laughs> I can see the rods from here now. Dale said, at least your window isn't spiderwebbed in five places like mine has been. Hey, I wonder what this would do for 11 months. With this black sud, Mess my window up. I need my top of my roof cleaned. For it had that stuff on it when I bought it. It ain't never come off. Dobson's like 100%. Grumpy said, better fuel mileage. Hey, Grumpy. Listen at this. I leave because my sister-in-law called me finally, and you're being a slave driver. Poor Travis. Lisa said that. <laughs> Who are you, and what have you done with Lisa? Hey, no way that's Lisa. That's what she said. I didn't tell him to do it. Dobson said, "All in the heart, heart facing." <laughs> Troy said we went from a fishing show to a detail show. You never know what you're gonna see on Skip Jack Cindy. <laughs> my sister in law just made my day. The stress of this wedding is off my shoulders. Awesome. Uh, Gerald said to tell Travis that that thing will probably work on the whole car, just saying. Autocat said, make no mistake, Travis is working for free. Uh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Dale said, Lisa, your sister-in-law is getting married. Congratulations. Angela said, less stress is always a good thing, Lisa. Gerald said, poor guy. Hess said, Dale, Lisa is getting married.
<laughs> Job said he ain't working for free. He's working for Cindy. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. He gets paid back. I've been trying to call her for a few weeks now and finally talked to her. Actually, he doesn't. He does a lot. You gotta take off. I'll be back on later if you're still on. Okay, hunting and stuff. We'll be here for a while. The grumpy said the secret cleaning ingredient is the fish slime. Mm -hmm. This cut up, Cindy, but on the real, Travis is a great guy. You're not joking. I, I really. Yeah. I'm not worthy. I am actually. But he's he's awesome. <laughs> I am actually. <laughs> I try to be good to him. Wanna go? Otter can't say who's the lucky dude, Lisa. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Mid South aw. You're mean, Mid-South. I thought you were my friend, but I don't think you are. He said, oh, so that's what a sucker looks like. <laughs> no, he's mean. Grumpy said, now I feel like I'm at the dentist office. <laughs> oh, right. Gerald said, I'm really glad I met y'all. Well, we're glad to meet you, too. You really never know what you're going to see on this show, though. We just do what we would do normally. I've oh, been meaning to do this to her wheel. Because I see so many people sitting there scrubbing them and stuff. It's so hard. Last time I, I scrubbed this them. little set of brushes. And I was like, man, them would be great on the wheel. The amazing Randy. It's out your back where you scheduling your lives, Troy said. Dale said, Mid South, are you and Travis twins? <laughs> Not quite. Randy, 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 that old gray haired dude? Otter Cat said. Tony said, Take a drink of that water, Cindy. Mm. There. Jake said, if Mid-South ever does something for a lady, you want me to drink that water, Tony? Are you going to be, a, are you going to Mid-South me? Water. Are you going to Mid-South me? Be mean? Hey, get that tire. Mm. Hey, get the tire. <laughs> I'll try to find a, a, a car wash between here and home and do it tonight. Oh, don't get on yourself, though. That's why you didn't do the, anything but that other front one, right? Okay. Awesome sauce. Gerald said, that's what's fun about this channel. You never know what's going to happen or be said. That's a fact. I'm hoping that by walking away from the rods that um, one of them goes down. I'm tired of watching them flagpoles. What is the name of that tool, Grumpy said? The brush thing. I think I found them at Walmart or somewhere. It was just a set of brushes. There was yeah, more there than was one. Like three brushes. There was a flat one in it. And, but that's just a, that's actually an impact right there. But you use a drill, whatever, just to. Uh, <laughs> he said if, if Mitch out there ever did something for a lady, he might get one. <laughs> <He just said>. <laughs> <laughs> But that's a cool little brush. Go back there, look in your uh, 
tool sections or wherever and see if they've got any little brushes back there. And that thing will clean it right up. Um, Troy said they've got them at AutoZone. I'm sure they do. Yay, my tires look so much better. You know, if it was a... Uh, wasn't so cold out. I just pulled the car down there and watch it here. <laughs> They're on Team U2. I think I still got the package at the house. I'll, if I remember, I'll take a picture of it. It's sure to be a, it's sure to be hit if you're not paying attention, Sandy. <laughs> That, <laughs> Gerald said that brush would work on the toilet too. <laughs> this is very true. It work yeah, it, and you know that stubborn stuff that you get up under the rim. I think we're getting a bite. Right there it is. Here. Yeah, I got it. And there he goes. He takes off. I think that was on the pack bait. Oh. No way. Did you hear it? Feel it, break? it broke. How did it break? Right now. It broke them all off. He was just taking drag. Did you lock it down too tight or something? Yeah, probably. But it didn't, it broke quick. It just broke everything off. Well, Dang man. it, man. No. Well, that wasn't no fun. No. He had it all been over. Here you go. I'm going to have to rig it back up. I don't like losing them. <laughs> There's a weak spot somewhere. It might have went around one of them rocks out there. Queen Hiss said, Weather Cindy's home. Okay, that went for Atlanta. You have to do Weather Cindy's house, Hiss. For some reason, that's the only thing that'll get it. Dale said, Mid, did you get your kayak from Team You might explain why it sank. I do one thing women to women really well. I'll disappoint them. <laughs> Weather City's house, yes. There you go, weather for ho. 80 degrees, four mile an hour winds and 90% humidity. It sounds like heaven. I wish it was 80 degrees here. It's like 60 something. It's a little chilly. Mid South bought a submarine, not a kayak, Troy said. <laughs> It's date time. Time to go boot scoot. Have fun, Mid South, even though you've been mean to me lately. Well, I told you it was going to get a fish. I called that. You did, Gerald. Tony said, What the hell, Cindy? <laughs> I know that poor fish has been swimming for 10 minutes and you finally recognized its presence, so he took everything. Well, it wasn't pulling drag 10 minutes ago. Angela said, we'll miss you, Mid-South. Troy said, bye, Mid-South. Say hello to Lefty. No, Dale said, apparently Mid-South's parties don't include Cindy. Yep, it, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Tony said, definitely got his life vest from Timu. Sank <laughs> like a weight. <laughs> 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 hey, he's laughing because I'm talking dirty to him over here behind the camera. <laughs> Jake said, Mid South on a date, good one. John Denver tying one on. <laughs> I don't think he looks like John Denver, but people say he does. I thought I'd cut that scraggly beard off. Oh, I can see his face. It's so great. Tony or Troy said Mid South has two dates. Hitch lefty uh, has two dates. Hitch lefty and righty. He's gonna switch out on. Them. <laughs> 
Fuck, which will it be tonight? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> and he looks at the other hand and says, How you doing? <laughs> Lefty and righty LaPomola. Tony said, Mitchell tells chicks, hey, want to go flip in a few kegs? It's really fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dale said, Travis getting that Rocky Mountain high. <laughs> Jake said, I believe it. Autocast said, Mid South has a date. Who fell for that? <laughs> to a little woman. Tony said, Travis, and put a bunch of laughing faces. <laughs> Grumpy said, I've had people say that I look like Stephen King. I don't see the resemblance. I can kind of see the resemblance. That short that you put out when you were shopping. Oh, that was a catfish rod. Do it again. Do it again. Which one? I don't know. It makes all of them bounce. Oh, I hate that. But it was on the four rods. Angela laughed too. What did you say? I forgot already. <laughs> Do you remember? Who, me? Yeah, was it about your, about, uh, when mid -South how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Looked at the other hand and said, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't remember if that's what they were talking about or not. Angela, Angela said, Stephen King, you say, Grumpies. You want me to do the salt shaker? <laughs> really? <laughs> Seriously? I'll do it. I ain't scared. Y'all are just crazy. <laughs> hey, Travis. Mm. <laughs> Pretty sure that was the second run. <laughs> The fishing party short, yeah, with the Barbie rod, yeah. You got a, a Stephen Kingish profile. Maybe a, a mix between Dean Coombs and Stephen King. What's up, Mindy? How are you doing? She said, hey, Cindy and Travis. Are you watching? <laughs> I got big salt shaker, so. So, that thread, man, I think. Get him. Pick it up. Here you go, let him take off. I'm just tired. But I'm really too accident prone to do too much catfish diving. I feel like to do that in certain spots. Yeah, there got to be plenty of space before you take off that rock. Yeah. You don't know where you're running to, you're going to kill yourself. It does work pretty good though. Yeah. It's, it's a lot smoother pull on it with the circle hook. It doesn't, I feel like it does it fast too. Yeah. Set the finger up off the ground to catch the hook. Right. Oh, okay. If he ain't hitting it that good, then don't worry much about it. Oh, ain't no way he's going to hook it as much as he ain't it no better than that. Okay, I got this other one rigged back up. We did it the same way. Yeah, that way, whenever I go to switch it back to... Oh, you'll have to put your plastic yeah, back on? Yeah, go ahead and use jig heads on it. Yeah. 
We need to get on some skipjack. I need to make my Spider Man rod short. Yep. Dale said, Coastal water watching grass grow instead of mowing. Have to watch Cindy. <laughs> Yeah, I mowed and weeded the other day. I hate that stuff. What's up, not a mouse? The weed eating part anyway. Oh, you can mow and weed eat tomorrow, um, Dale, because it's just mow dog. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are cold. Dale said, do it again. I missed checking Coastal Waters channel. Oops. What, the salt shaker or the going after the losing the fish on the rod? <laughs> Not a mouse said, Barbie, Scooby-Doo, Spider-Man, they all make great ice fishing rods. I wish I had more of them. I've got a little one in the, my trunk. Then there's a dock demon, I think, back there. We should put some pack bait on it if we can get a call. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Our cat said, be back at her while, hold down fort. And he said, at her. A-D-E-R. At her while. Dale said, about that mowing part, I'll have to borrow Mo Dog's mower. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you ain't mowing. Oh, the salt shaker. Seriously? Are y'all gonna make me start doing the salt shaker? <laughs> and Troy said, "See you later, Otter Gator." Go back to the doctor May 9th. It's not laying down like he hoped. Dang it! What is wrong with that toe? Oh, doctor needs more money. Just cut that toe off. That's why he's calling you nine toes. Are you are you watching? Are you watching Dale? <laughs> it's like doing incognito, sort of. If you miss it, you miss it. Oh, what are you talking about? Salt shaker. Oh. They've got to where they want to see me do salt shaker. I don't understand it. Okay. Hey. What do you mean you don't? Okay. <laughs> Do you remember the video I sent you <laughs> when we first started talking? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That was not down. Do you want all of them open? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got the bluegill uh, on it. Or red ear, whatever the heck it is. Come on, April, warm back up. He told me not to wear your boots anymore. He said they're too narrow for me to wear right now. Angela said, Cindy, <laughs> a bunch of laughing faces in the salt shaker. <laughs> Dale said, yes. <laughs> Tony said, stop walking on it and let it heal. Salt that carfish. Get the toe, cut it off. <laughs> Gerald said, oh, no, not the salt shaker again. They're on it. They're on it about the salt shaker. You're going to change your name, burrito. So, we're going to... Uh... <laughs> Lisa said, shut it. Travis. Cut the toe off and get done with. 
she said, Tony, not happening. Not a mouse said, you need some Birkenstock sandals. Lisa, you can be laid back and be hippie fishing lady. Laid back by hippie fishing lady. <laughs> <laughs> They're so weird. They're so weird. <laughs> Catfish lady nine toe. That's what Tony said. Jake said, had any of your subscribers drove over to say hi? No. been recognized twice though first time i was like okay that second time i was like wow seriously that was up at the skipjack spot Ready, came over before. oh well not tonight though <laughs> randy and lisa have come see me down here troy said have any of yours hitch Half the time he's in Alaska. <laughs> I work with some of my subscribers. She actually thought the giveaway was tonight. Uh, a girl I work with. Oh. It's like 27th. Gerald said. <laughs> YouTube famous Cindy, or is it that damn salt shaker? Ha huh? <laughs> Well, you know, you just never know. <laughs> I need to do, I need to do a, a salt shaker short. Think I'd get any views on a salt shaker short? I can't say it. How did they get started on that? The other night at the pond, I know, but nobody asked me to do it last night. Thank y'all. Tony said, hello, Coastal. Did you do two lives today? I saw a late one. Sometimes she does cooking. Cooking with Coastal Water. Dale said, Lisa, listen to non mouse. I'm currently wearing Birkenstock house shoes. I guess you call it a milk cracker and one big blue gill and two about 10 pound carp. Hoping to get big. Never fear, backlash is here. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Your birthday's Tuesday. Well, happy birthday. But I was going to say um, next month. It's my birthday month. So I was thinking about taking some vacation time. I don't know about taking it that early in the year. But I might have, I might do something on my birthday. Something special fishing. I don't know. He tried, he said, not a chance, Troy. John said, oh, me. Nobody you work with knows you have a channel. They all do because I get ticked off whenever they go to talking about working and it interfering with me going fishing. I've got several people from my job that are uh, subscribed. It might be a bad thing. I really had to work to fish. <laughs> Tommy said, hello, well, it's backlash, not coastal. Oh, okay. Was there a mouse in it? Angela said, we went camping with one of her this weekend's hitch videos up on the Adventure America channel.
No dog started that, I think. No dog started that, I think. What did he start? I can never leave my computer. Hey, Josh Thompson, what the heck is up or down or all around? Mandy said, Anthony, I did my car confession equals picking up panda. The roof is up. Prices of groceries up. Price of gas is up. Price of everything mainly is up. Yeah, happy early birthday. Lisa said, Dale, it's hard for me to find shoes. Not many places sell 12 women's. Most of mine are men's 10, 11s. Dale said, yes, if I'd have known... I wouldn't have asked mid sales to be on my live Tuesday. Lord, you asked mid sales to be on your live. <laughs> What's up, backlash? So, Josh, I've been catching carp. Tony said, when's your birthday, Cindy? Let's get drunk. I'll come down. The 24th. It's on a Friday this year. Woo -woo. Mid South has to be on my live first. He is my BFF, Troy said. Backlash said, Yeah, I hijacked Coastal's computer for a second. <laughs> salt shaker. <laughs> I need to do a, a short with the salt shaker. Seagull said, Hey, hey, I was joking about Mid South. Had to see if he was finished with his dates. Well, he took the garbage, so that was cool. Awesome. What do you say? Go ahead and put it in his truck. Yeah. <laughs> After he seen I was going to take another bag down there and take out the thing, I was going to sit right there at the parking lot. I'm surprised I don't have a dumpster over there. He said he'd do something with it. I hope you don't throw it out on the side of the road. <laughs> and it's not down here. Josh said, bite on third rod, far left from right. From the left, right, or right, left? Come on. Be more specific, Josh. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit more specific. On the Pacific or the Atlantic <laughs> side. Troy said, good seagull. I was getting jealous. Can they still see the rods? Um, yeah. This thing picks up light for a long time. Lisa said, be right back again. I'm going to have to take some stuff. And I, but I'll say, but I don't need it right now. And I really don't. Because I'm not going fishing Thursday. I don't, I got, I got to it do some stuff. You don't fish or not. The fact is, you need to have the stuff have with me. Stuff in your car. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to take a, my fishing poles. I can use that other rod holder, but I can take the other rod holder. My rod holder and get it out of your car. I realized when I took that, I started to unwrap that, that you had wrapped those uh, pieces of rebar up in it. So I had rebar too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I was like, I didn't know that. Yeah, I put rebar with it. Yeah, it was awesome. Tony said, we should meet in Nashville, actually. More fun. Travis like Nashville? I was oh, good. He hit the dock. <laughs> oh, he let that guy off, but he hit the dock. On oh, my birthday, that's what Tony's talking about. They're hitting that pack bait again. We're going to have to make some pack bait. That pack bait, that JBT pack bait stuff works. I got, I got to give it to him. I, they eat it constantly. Angela said, Anthony J. headed to Texas in June for birthday libations. 
So Anthony J wanting to go to Nashville. Right. Want to meet in Nashville, yeah. Seagull said, Miss AA, how far south in Texas? Dale, they live in Corpus Christi. He probably, are, yeah, well, I'm behind, so of course they answered you already. <laughs> oh, God, here comes the duck. Oh. Duck down, duck down. Did he get out of it? Yeah. <laughs> God, did y'all see that? Listen at him. He's. He's upset. Listen at him. I'm going to have to wear a camera while mowing. I'll be darned that frog crossed the road in front of me a while back, crossed my path while mowing. Really? And you got to be. Yeah, Travis uh, de legged a frog while he was mowing the other day, I think. That that duck is over there taking a bath indignantly. I thought you had something bigger for a second. Bill said too far back or too far south unless we move. Grumpy said I missed when your birthday is. Mine is the 24th of May. They said carp. <laughs> mm. Angela said, oh, it's a great beach. I said they said something about a carp. Oh. Josh said, it's time to rhyme. Have you ever had a fried rebar? <laughs> no, I don't want to either. <laughs> Sound like it might. Jake. Fried rebar. We're in Oklahoma. Are you seal fort seal? Tony said, We're in Texas, right? I might be visiting a friend in Houston about that time. Angela's June. Paul said, My birthday soon. Hey, Bash Fisherman Paul. Rebar pie, Jake said. No. Rebar pie. I don't have nothing to rebar pie. You're in Elgin, just north of Lawton. Hey, wasn't Lawton in uh, one of those Twister movies? I think it was. Josh said rebar cigar. Oh, God. They did that the other night. Not rebar cigar. They rhymed a whole bunch of words. It's rhyme time. <laughs> Four hours south of Houston, Corpus Christi is. 
Dale said, Cindy, you're so far behind. I'm buying a condo on the beach. You live right there. <laughs> okay. Shit. I'm not that far behind. Tony said, was that a good look, Doug? Hey, Michelle Mason. In fact, your climb fences are about a half a mile from each other, Dale said. Josh said, bottom fourth far from left. <laughs> they should have used the rebar line tonight. <laughs> Josh said, darn duck, I thought you had three fish on. <laughs> well, the duck down. <laughs> Dale said we can't let her catch up. The carp rod is, the carp rods are right here and right here. Right here and right here. Right here and right here. Rebarb. <laughs> Everyone start typing y'all <laughs> Troy. <laughs> that is Mo Dog that you do that to. Not tonight, they said. <laughs> Troy said strawberry. Apricot, blackberries. If y'all do that, I can't say who said what. That sounded funny, didn't it? I can't say who said what. Where's JBT at? I don't know. He missed the live last night, too. Turd. I kind of like that pack bake stuff. It works pretty good. Oh? I'm not sure what that was. I hope it was that second one. I love rhubarb, Josh Thompson. It is good. Peach cobbler, Josh Thompson. Peach and cream. Why are y'all talking about cakes and pies and food? What's up, Bobby? Nothing but air, he said. Your back had to deal with storm shit. Did y'all have a bad one, Bobby? Pecan or pecan? Gone pie. God, sweet though. Hess said cheese. Gerald said cakes and pies and cakes and pies. <laughs> That's a miracle. About every two weeks to about every month, I'll make the old man a blueberry, a blueberry pie. Easiest pie you ever make. Thank God Hess didn't say smoked cheese, Dale said. Yeah, smoked cheese. <laughs> I've got to get some smoked cheese. Josh said, Miss Adventure, I just subbed. Angela said, y'all making me want dessert. <laughs> it said, I almost did. And Josh said, cherry cheesecake. Cherry garlic skip jerk, Josh, Josh, Josh said. <laughs> Dale said, come to Oklahoma and have a Black Forest Sunday at Brahms. Black Forest Sunday. I assume it's got black walnuts in it. Black Forest, I don't know. I don't know. It's just the chocolate. What is that? Yes. Queen Hess wants to know. Everybody else does too. Oh, speaking of pie, I got some pie. Uh, you know what I brought him when I when I got here today? Amen, and it was so good. An orange creamsicle frosty, frosty from Wendy's. I about forgot about the pie. Bobby said, Josh, how do you go from cheesecake to skip jerk? There you go. Uh, <laughs> apple pie. Apple pie. It's apple pie. It gets you one today at Mickey D's. Dale said, fudge cake, two scoops of vanilla ice cream, cherry topping, hot fudge topping, and whipped cream. Hey, there's an ice cream place up there near Travis's that has a thing called the dump. <laughs> And it's a huge, huge, big styrofoam cup, and it has everything in it. It's like a banana split plus in a big cup. When we first met, I told her, uh, I said, I said, you got a bunch of dollar bills? 
<clears throat> we was talking. Well, we might have been talking about dollar bills. Anyway, I said I'm gonna take you to Ho Ho's, and she thought we was going to a strip club. <laughs> We had a Brahms in Kansas to not try the black It's an ice cream shop. Poho's. Poho's is the ice cream shop. Josh said, hot Dutch apple pie made from Amish in Ohio. Yum. Josh said, that sounds great. The Wanderer, hey. He's listening and driving. There you go. We'll up, Wanderer. Did drive safely, but we'll, I'll, I read most of chat so you can keep up. It said, oh, man, that sounds awesome. I, I have to say, this apple pie from McDonald's is pretty good right now. <laughs> Dale said, Travis, Travis trying to make it rain on that first date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, caught two big ones on cherry garlic skip jerk. Where's Penelope in the car? That's the problem. We caught a catfish yet. Um, we caught car. I think that one was a shell cracker. No and then big blue hill. Where is uh, the back backpack? Backpack. Not there next to you. Has it got the uh, charger in it? Uh. Never mind. What about the cord? In the car. <laughs> you over here down to fourteen percent. Yep. Once it reaches fifteen, it's all over. It just goes. Where are you going? I'm trying to tie the car up. Oh, I'm trying to tie the car up. Ooh. We got stuff scattered from hell to breakfast around here. I don't know. Oh, I'm not losing. I don't know. You should invest a new. Oh, we should invent a new dessert. Maybe chocolate covered catfish would be a hit. Shoot. Josh said, talking my language. It's a cart cake. It's throw it in a blender and throw some flour in it. He said, yes, Travis, they're awesome right out of the oven. Apple cherry pie with graham crackers crust from the Dutch oven. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that pie was pretty good. It, it got cool, though. It's been apple cherry. Mm -hmm. hmm. So Travis, not so it's not Travis. That's good luck. It's Penelope. Dale said. Penelope. 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 <laughs> She's a little nipply. Tony said we had a Vietnamese restaurant called Booking. Restaurant, all his left going by. <laughs> Fucking. Fucking. <laughs> hey, I said, I worked at McDonald's right before we moved to the East Coast. Josh said, Don't leave us sin. Nope. I got you plugged up now. The original McDonald's fried apple pie was the best. These are not as good, these are like baked. I'll tell you where you can that get was the, like a turnover, wasn't it? It was original? pastry and, and deep fried, but I can yeah. tell you where to get one just like it is Crystal's. Crystal's has the old fashioned fried apple pies like like McDonald's used to have. Mm. Uh -huh. Josh said Travis forgets us. Forget who? Chat. Oh, and chat. You left them down oh, there. I'm well. Where would I leave? You left them down there on the bank or something when we were at. Uh, oh, that's because I couldn't carry everything back up. <laughs> that was when we was at disco. <laughs> we was on the disco. Dust said, "I see the line moving on the fifth from the left." <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's just the wind. <laughs> Josh said pecan pie. Oh, you can see that line in there, can't you? Mm-hmm. Angela said, I wish we had crystals here. That That's the one that's got the worm on it. 922 said, Josh, did I mention my biggest customer base is in the heart of Amish country, Sugar Creek and Berlin area? Wow. 
Kes said, pecan pie is my favorite. It's super sweet. We had cheesecake. Mm hmm. At, um, when we went to was it Harrison's? Harrison's. Or? It was Harrison's. They had pecan crust. I don't know where we're going this way. Is this trash? Mm. Is this yeah. trash? Hot peach cobbler with homemade vanilla ice cream. Oh, 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 oh. Get him, get him, get him. Don't, don't do it too tight. I'm going to have to keep moving this too much. Yeah, I bet that thing's gonna have all their minds tangled up. Let me see where he's going. Oh, he's always over right next to the ramp. Let me have that rod. I'm gonna take you over here, carry them over there. There's, okay, you got him? Yeah. Let me see if I can get them. You think they got enough to I can unplug them? Um, well, well yeah. I'll try to. Can you still see her? I bet that I'm going to go over there. Another carp. <laughs> She's going to be stuck on carp. Hey, let him go. Let me get down there. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give you a light. See if you can get down here. Cause I can't do nothing. I got both my hands full. Get to the other light. You see? I got no. I'll give you giving you light. Okay. I'm sliding down my butt. Mm -hmm. Do what you gotta do. I'm gonna be stuck carp fishing forever now. <laughs> you should try catching one. <laughs> Remember, you're gonna try to take off again. <laughs> Told you. Maybe we should use the net with carp fish. Yeah, I think we need the net. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it gets shallow and he's like, no. You don't like the cereal shallow. No. Oh, don't get the rod next to my head. <laughs> get him in here. Why don't you just back up and pull him up? The other one didn't be like that. About getting beat. I think he's bigger. I think he's tarred. His mouth seems to be bigger. <laughs> oh, he's free. Like I'm getting away if I can. Oh, what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get whooped by this carp. <laughs> Are you wearing it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. It means. Let me set you down right here. Yeah. <laughs> it means it. I'll have to go up and get that. <laughs> I feel like we're going to probably need to wait a little bit. I don't know how. I don't know how many people wait. Heart. Well. 
this has been pretty cool. I think they mostly use some kind of little slime when they weight them. Yeah. We ain't worried much about it. No. At least I'm not getting cut up for a uh, catfish bait. Huh? Well, they're thick. Carp are thick. Yeah, you can take one in and use it as bait for a day. For a long time. Okay. There you, go. you got the thing turned on? I don't want to hold him too long like that. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Wow. That's a decent car. Pretty good one. Okay, and you want the video to let go? Yeah. Let me fix them so they can see too. He's gonna wet me when he goes. Trying to carry a battery and everything. Right? Oh, he's tarred. He thinks he's still caught. Poke him with that rod. He will fall in the water. <laughs> About the end. He actually just swim right off her. Yeah, he was tarred. <laughs> Are you going? <laughs> hey, Johnny Small Pepper. So, You need a light down there? Yeah. Oh, that's it. No, that's it. I'll get the deal with it. I'll just get one of your step on it. Okay. Awesome song. Okay. Okay. Tony said <laughs> pinch his tail. What did the little cra uh, crap weigh? Um, it was a little over 10 pounds. 10.08. 10.08. .08. We got a little bit more of that stuff left. So Troy said 12.235. Tony said 16. Don't let him take off with the group, grips now. If he'd have been still I feisty. I know, but if he'd have still been feisty, I wouldn't have let him go. Gerald said, is this a carp channel now? I'll say 10.14 pounds. You were super close, Gerald. Yeah. <laughs> Troy said 20.4. Larry Cat said 13.34. Grumpy said 11.3. Nope, it's not a carp channel. No. It's just didn't want to catch a carp, so I brought this. Grumpy said dancing with the fish. JVD stuff. Michelle Mason said 10.3. She was super close, too. Well, it was really close, wasn't it? Yeah. Bobby's was 9.92. <laughs> how do they, how'd they get that close on a carp? I know. It. Hess was 11.224. They all got, got pretty good guessing. Johnny Small Pepper. Bobby said uh, bait for weeks. 
Jake said guess 10.45. Tony said, wait till you hold him. Flippy flappy time. Yep. It makes a third one. They've all been pretty about that same size. Dale said it looks like 12.69. Yeah. Tony, their lips are soft rip out easy. That's why I held on to him until like he had it on there so that it didn't like jerk him down. Stick your fingers in their eye sockets, Josh said. Hold carb by the eyes. Gross. <laughs> Bobby said he made baklava a couple months ago for his daughter, pecan almond maple honey. Baklava takes baklava. a long time to make. You got to do layer after layer after layer. Really? Oh, yeah. But you're talking about good. You going to make me some? No, I'm not. <laughs> Well, dang it. Travis, not even for my birthday? No. Well, fine. Travis going to be a but gonna be a Carpo Loco next few days, and Tony said. No, I'm out of this pack bait now. This is maybe our last pitch in for the... Seagull said, the only thing I hate catching more than a catfish is carp. I think it's a giant bass the way they fight. <laughs> it is not good. The light is evil. I must not go near it, Grumpy said. <laughs> Tony said they're feisty and need a net. I just didn't want to get all them hooks. Grumpy said, boing, 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 boing. Did I see one of them rods move? I mean, I'm not pointed at them, but... Mm -mm. I thought I seen one move. Well, uh, the the line on one of them moved, but I think it was the wind. Seagull was like, we want to see the beach. And Dale said, I told you, seventh rod. Okay, let me uh go all the way back down to the bottom. There's a month, JBT would die. She goes, I knew I should have guessed 10.69. Gerald said, I was closest. <laughs> Troy said, I just kept guessing just in case. <laughs> Yeah. Where are we tonight? We're on Fort Loudon. Um, Michelle, were you in here the night that I caught the 50 pounder? We're at the same spot. We're just over a few feet. Yeah, there's too much boat traffic over and it waters up now, so food is best. That's how we grab tuna at the fish market. It works really good. Bobby said it was four hours to prep, one hour to bake. That baklava? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very good, but... Tony said it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Dale said the second one moved. I hope he gets out of that snag. Hey, Natalia, where, where, um... Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Where's the plug in? Oh, yeah. Oh, it may be still down there. I'm about to lose it. It's still down there. Oh, really? Yeah. It's down there next to the shore. Oh, damn. Where are you at, Natalia? You? You'll be okay. Angela said, take that back, Anthony. Baklava is delicious. Oh, how? Troy said he had to disagree about the baklava. Come on. Four percent. I know if you go oh, by there it goes. Sensitive. You have small inner room on the lowest floor.
go there and then uh you're in a camper everybody will to tell you just hang on We almost did snag a duck. Otter cat. Not necessarily. It may just mean it's past the storm sale, so don't freak out. Just stay calm. Well, was that storm coming? Where this Natalia is. Oh, really? We're in a camper and it's tornado warning. I have you okay. Tony said one of my girlfriends bought a baklava for my birthday. I threw it out of a six story window onto a Van Ness Street in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> rude. <laughs> yeah, do they have a shower house where you're at? I've seen some some baklava is not by uh, however you want to say it. baklava. Uh -huh. It's not uh if it's not made right, it's it's probably had too of a syrupy taste to it. Yeah, Natalia, uh, seagull there is from Oklahoma, and they get lots of bad weather, so he knows about them. But I will say, Tony, if uh, if you don't like baklava, you're probably not gonna like none of the baklava. No, I've got some, some jalapeno cheese balls that uh, are delicious. Yeah, he makes good jalapeno cheese balls. Josh said you're gonna get timed out. Travis, plug it in. You were going to get timed out for not plugging the thing in. For not plugging it in. Tony said every once in a while, hitch. Oh, well, he said. <laughs> yeah, just listen to us talking to tell you. It'll be over soon. That's one thing about them storms. They move through fast. Okay, yeah. It's just his fault that it didn't get plugged back in. I was trying to help him too. Mr. Roger said it's time for the flathead, but yes, it is. Did you get it in? Did you get it unstuck? Yeah. Okay. Be safe, Natalia. You'll be all right. It'll go on by you. Angela said, Anthony, Jade baklava is delicious, even if your girlfriend was not. <laughs> Josh said, by middle left. Is that Pacific or Atlantic? Pacific or Atlantic. <laughs> Our cat said, what the hell is baklava? They were just talking about how, how it takes like four hours to make it's layered and stuff. I'm not know, really sure. After layer after layer. I mean, it's, it's, it goes on and on making it. But the layers are so thin. Did you make baklava? Yeah, I've made baklava before. Why? <laughs> uh, Why? Because I know all about cooking. Yeah. Tony said that sounds good. A baklava is a honey and pecan pastry. It's delicious, Bobby said. Troy said we used to live in Kansas and Missouri, had a lot of tornado weddings. <laughs> Tony 
Tony he said that girlfriend was fine as a fox. <laughs> fine as a fox. <laughs> and great with the heels to Jesus. <laughs> She was fine as a frog hair. Fine as a fox. <laughs> Jake said, I think it's catfish wiener. I think the carp come in here and eat all the catfish. Angela said, Otter Cat Baklava is a puff pastry layered with honey and fruit and nuts. Yummy. Otter Cat said, Oh, that sounds like heartburn. <laughs> 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 honey won't give you heartburn. We're starting to come back up the other way. Josh said baklava is amazing. There is somebody, something up there in that tree shining. You see where they cut it? Like a plug. <laughs> that one guy that uh, took the trash, mm -hmm. he said he was throwing these little swim baits. It was kind of greenish, sparkly. Mm -hmm. About the color of the cedar tree right now. But it had a little sparkle in it, and he was put. He was slowly along the banks. Said he ended up hook, hook, hooking two catfish. He ended up breaking his line off, though. Yeah, he's. That's why uh, Tony's been catching them on mm -hmm. swim bait. Angel said, "Anthony and Jay, that may be so, but baklava is still awesome." Josh said, "I'm gonna try baklava skip jerk." <laughs> yeah. Look up there's another one. <laughs> They're all in this tree. Here comes the duck. Oh, uh, that one was smart. He seen that line and turned right around. <laughs> Troy said, All right, we have to have a vote on Baklava. What's up, Jefferson Einstein? What's up? We're done, Jefferson. Angela said, I vote delicious. Queen Hess said, Thumbs up. How do you feel about Baklava, Jeff? He's swimming way out there, huh? Mm-hmm. Troy said, thumbs up, Nakaba. Dale said, thumbs down. I'm kind of neutral on it, actually, just because it takes so long to make. Angela said, hello, Jefferson Einstein. What is your feeling on Baklava? <laughs> See, you just never know what you're going to come in. It's, it's Cindy after dark, but we're talking about baklava. And Cindy, well, Tony Cindy, tried to talk about heels to Jesus, but it went back to baklava. And Cindy's wheels is clean now. My wheels are clean. The rims, anyway. Dale Justin got timed out. Hitch by hitch is neutral, I think. I think that's what that means. Who's Dale that, Justin? I don't, Dale Justin got timed out. I have no idea. I don't know. Mr. Rogers said it is delicious. My neighbor is from the Middle East and his wife made it was was with pistachios for me. Jefferson's never had it. I'm, I'm not actually, a, I'm actually surprised so many people's actually had it. I'm not not sure I've ever had it because it's a pain in the ass to make. My mom used to make like homemade cream puffs with custard filling and stuff. Yeah. You know, cream puffs are hard to make. Mm -hmm. And she used to make all that kind of stuff, but she never made baklava. What? Which? Which is it? The uh, things that'll fall. That's like an angel food cake, isn't it? Or some kind of things that will fall. I forget what it is. Oh, quiches. It may be quiches or something or other. Quiche. Old man's mama. If you don't like baklava, you get timed out, Troy said. <laughs> <laughs> Our cat said, I didn't know what it was, so therefore I have no opinion. We'll go with what she Hitch says. Dale said, I don't like anything with nuts. Well, <laughs> most everything I like has nuts. <laughs> Just saying. It's kind of rude there. Bill. Angela said, Mr. Rogers, I think it is usually made with pistachios. I kind of want to go down there and throw my net on that ramp. 922 said, really, Josh, if it would work, I would have to fight the catfish. 
<laughs> a baklava skip jerk. It seems like it'd be awful expensive bait. Angel food cake will fall, yeah. And I, I think there there is some kind of like quiches or something like that that'll fall. She, I think she was making something in little round, uh, I don't know, maybe five inch round things. Might have been four inch round. Ooh, that's Ooh. a head. <laughs> I'd like to see something take a head. That's why I don't want to go throw my net right now. I want to, but I, I'm restraining myself. It was quiche. To be quiche. Oh man, that she get all mad when everyone would fall. <laughs> Troy said, "Dill, you like mid south angel food cake has so much air in it that if you like walk too hard, too mm -hmm. hard through the house or shut the oven door too hard, it'll fall." Bobby said, Dale, not what I heard. Josh said, on this subtitle, it's called Carps and Baklava. That's great. That's what I ought to go back and rename this live Carps and Bob Baklava. Yeah, Carps and bar Baklava. And Dale said, hey, hey, you have me confused with Jake. <laughs> Angela said, me too, Cindy. Tony said, so rude, Dale. <laughs> Jake said, Dale, we all know your eyes got super big when you heard nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Tony said, Dale, you wouldn't put Travis's jalapeno balls in your mouth? <laughs> Listen, I have, and they were the bomb. Mouth watering good. <laughs> I can't said I hear a dog jerking up and make baklava out of it. <laughs> Has said quiche is very tricky and will collapse if it isn't done right. Soufflés are the same way. That might have been what it was, soufflés. Souffle? That sounds, she's French. Oh, okay. Yeah, it probably was. Souffle. And they've got something over there in France that's called a... Uh, it's called grapes. Grapes? Yeah, they're grapes, but they're not. <laughs> it's like that's not, not a grape, <laughs> but it's like a real flat, thin pancake. Crepe. Crepe. Those that's are crepes, yes. You, yeah, you just pour just a tiny bit of the batter and just let it coat the pan. And, yeah. Yeah. And crepes. over there on that island that they lived, you you could go down to the market and you, you never did get, you didn't really keep nothing. In a sense of uh, like fruit or vegetables and stuff like that, you could actually go down there and get them and like fresh fish and all that right at the market that on the day, island. Yeah, yeah. Jefferson said I tried making something that fell once looked great, and then all of a sudden it didn't so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dale said, "Tony, do you put Travis's balls jalapeno in your mouth?" <laughs> Angela said, Queen Hess quiche can be delicious. Tony said, that's not the question, Dale. <laughs> Hess said, it is delicious, but very tricky to make. Crepes, Mr. Rogers said, yep. <laughs> like, poor people said crepes. Ottercat said, I know pinto brings and cornbread. Y'all eat weird stuff. <laughs> Man, mom had Fried taters. Mom made pintos and cornbread the other day. I just ate though, and I didn't eat none. <laughs> Hess said, "Yes, crepes are delicious." Josh said, "Baklava." <laughs> <laughs> he said it separated all the letters and did them in baklava. Capital letters, so that's how I said it. That's what it. That's what came to mind when I read it that way. <laughs> did your phone say crepes? <laughs> he said, "Damn phone crepes." Crepes. Jeff said, people should take notes from the donut. The balls are called a hole. So much better. What? People should take notes from the donut. The balls are called a hole. 
so much better. That's true. <laughs> I've made donuts before. The bowl, the balls. Oh, the balls, yeah. Yeah, but they're, they're called holes. holes. Yeah, they're called holes. Donut holes. He said that's better. <laughs> Dale said beans and cornbread. Now we're talking. Heck yeah. Man, a little salt and pepper. Heck yeah. yeah. I like yeah. me some beans. I, I make good cornbread on top of them. Put plenty of GX extra juice over that cornbread. I make good beans. Man, they're good. And some fried taters. Yep. And, and Angela, I used to probably make good fried taters too. He said, I love frittatas, which are similar to quiche. <laughs> Tony said, baklava. <laughs> and he put gaggy faces in between it. <laughs> it's the new word, baklava. <laughs> Troy said, what is a tricky baklava or jalapeno bowl balls? I almost said bones. I just got to make some of the jalapeno balls. Baklava is tricky. The jalapeno balls are easy. It's the easiest thing, and they are delicious, I'm telling you. Get you some. It depends on whether you like hot jalapenos or just a mild or whatever. But get the sliced ones in the can or the jar and dice them up. And take you some Velveeta cheese or whatever cheese you like best. I use the Velveeta cheese, and then I'll put a little bit of mild cheddar shredded, and I'll mix that, mix the diced up jalapenos in it, and make quarter-sized balls. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it up in your hands, quarter-sized balls, and then get you some plain corn flakes, just plain ones, and get you a bowl and crunch them up real good. And then get you another bowl and put you about two or three eggs in there and whip them up real good. And you dip them, them balls. <laughs> dip your balls in the dip egg. Dip balls in the egg. And then roll them around. And what I usually do on the cornflakes is I'll make a little hole in the cornflakes. Like a little, you know, and throw the ball in there and cover it up and then kind of squeeze it to it. <laughs> and then set them to the side. Ball. And get you a little kettle. It don't have to be nothing big, small, something small. You can do, I don't know, two to four of them at a time and put you some vegetable oil in it and put it on the eye. But take a couple of them little corn flakes, them crumbs, and put in there, and you can kind of tell when it's, you know, they start to fry as soon as they hit. But get that grease, that oil good and hot, and this gets you a spoon. And I usually use one with a, uh, the holes in it. And I'll put about three or four of them in there. And as soon as they come up to float, let them cook just to a golden brown. And pull them out of there. Put them on napkins. And you're talking about good. I mean, they are delicious. <laughs> Angela said we need to hold a cooking class. They're talking about frittatas. Dale said, hey, hey, I'm canceling the contract on the condo on the beach. Lisa's back. Why aren't we fishing at the beach? That's what I want to know. Exactly. Let's go. Dale said, Lisa, be careful with your next comment. Baklava. Baklava. How do you feel about bakl baklava, Lisa? <laughs> Troy said, come on, Seagull, we, we still love you. Billy said, I'm having crock pot beans on a ham bone, fried taters, cornbread, and country fried fresh pork chops for dinner tomorrow night. Dang, pork belly. Now, Dale, what, what you got your nose at a joint over? Are they picking on you? Jefferson said, can't win if you don't play anything. Jake said, Travis, you're getting Lisa excited. <laughs> she she's going to lose a toe. She said, I don't think so. <laughs> What's up, Billy? Hey, hey. It looks like the, the, this little rod on the side here is moving on the screen sometimes, and I look up and it's not. Angela said, anytime you want to come down, we can go fishing on the beach. Seagull said, Oh, Troy likes nuts too much. Fishing on the beach is fun sometimes. 
Kiss said, I can host it. I went to culinary school. Awesome. <laughs> Troy said, apparently we now have an available condo on the beach. Yeah. What do you know, Billy? What are you doing, Billy? Hey, Billy. Jake hey, said, Jake said what about tiramisu, Otter? Tiramisu? I have tried tiramisu. It's it's caramel-ish. I've never heard of it. Gerald said, hashtag baklava for the win. And I saw that back there, but everybody was uh, talking, so I couldn't read it. I'm going to throw my net down there so bad I can't stand it. Well, go throw it. I just can't do it right yet. <laughs> So y'all, one fish down there keeps splashing. splashing. The bank. I will go down there and shine my light on it. Angela said, "I'm not a fan of tiramisu." What is a tiramisu anyway? To me, tiramisu kind of looks like <laughs> it said hashtag baklava for the win. Baklava. Tiramisu to me looks like like a caramel sort of cheesecake looking thing. Hmm. So Josh said, "I'm getting tarred." You tored? Are you Cast Blast said, I hope y'all are wearing them out tonight. Guess what, Cast Blast? Guess what? Guess what? Don't ever guess. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> Queen S said it's a pudding. Pudding's good. Oh, Cat pudding. said, hitch by hitch, do what? Jefferson said, never had that either. Don't even know what it is. It's like, it's like a pudding, but it looks kind of like a cheesecake. I don't know. I like lemon pudding. Mr. Rogers said, I can't wait to see what smacks that red ear. I hope something does. Hey, Skinner Farms. Man, I would like to see something so, to grab it. So guess what, Kiss Blast? Guess what? Guess what? You'll never guess. I caught three carp, like 10 pounds each. I'm so excited. They fight really good. They do fight good. I'm mad I couldn't catch one on my own. Travis must be my good luck charm. I just brought JB these pack bait. Yeah, he brought the pack bait down here. That's what they've been on. And JBT hasn't come into my live again tonight. I'm, I've got a phone to pick with that boy. I need to tell him. I told him last night I needed some of his pack bait. He said that I got three cast blasts, three. <laughs> <laughs> Insta replay. Insta replay. Cast said, nice PB. Finally saw the new one. Yes. How you doing, Skinner Farms? Another carp. <laughs> it looks like it's cake, but a gelatin base with caramel. Yeah. Let him go. Let him get down there. Insta replay. That yeah, was the I'm last one. Give you a light. See if you can get down here. But I can't do that. I got both my hands full. I got no. I'll give you, give you light. I'll do that as trademark, so don't do it. What you got to do? I don't know. I get so behind. They, their comments are far apart. Sometimes I just get lost. Is an Italian dessert made of lady fingers? Jake said tiramisu is an Italian dessert made of lady finger pastries dipped in coffee, layered with a whipped mixture of goodness. Look at it. Would you just look at that? Remember, you're going to try to take off. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me laugh. No, not the park. They were about 10 pounds. One of them was like uh, 7.9. 7 to 10 pounds. 7 to 10 pounds, yeah. <laughs> no, I had to come up to Fort Lousy. Maybe you should use the nail carpet. <laughs> I think we need the nail. Like, You've been in the cold too long, Hitch. <laughs> it's shallow. He's like, no. You don't like the cereal shallow. No. Oh, don't get to ride next to my head. Yeah, right at the very beginning of the. <laughs> Why don't you just back up and pull him up? The other ones didn't do like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa said, cat's really big. She's getting big them up. I caught seven, and they were huge. 
Why didn't he Otter Cat? Uh, is Otter Cat not in here? He said, I'm not a fan of it, but I can make it. Wheaties cereal, good carp bait, Josh said. That's the basis hitch, but it's not what it appears to be. <laughs> he got the hook out of his mouth. I gotta get away if I can. What's he talking about? He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna get whooped by this cart. Huh? I've got my I don't give a rat's ass t shirt on. Did you notice? Are you wearing it? <laughs> One of my bosses looked at it today and said, I'm, that shirt offends yeah. me. I said, does it? Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah. It means Let me set it. this down right here. Yeah. <laughs> it means it. I'll have to go up there. <laughs> off the subject, Troy said, but who, off the subject of desserts, who likes curry? Another car. Now, are you supposed to measure the length of them? Stuck on car. There you go. I bought a, a tape measure, but I, I don't remember what I did with it. Oh, is that what we're supposed to do? Measure them? Yeah, I'm going to give you a lot. We waiting. Get down here. I can't do nothing. I got both my hands full. I got no. I Mr. Rogers said, lie. you ever just stand there and look at it? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I've hooked in the carpets when I was a younger kid, but, yeah. Take, yeah, that's actually my first carps. They felt like freight trains, yeah. And we're, we're, we're fishing on these real light, the real light rods, this one and that one. It makes it focus when I put my finger up there. But those two rods, so they're real light. They're actually skip jacket blue, bluegill rods. We're just hoping something takes off with that. Yeah, we've got this out there on a on a hook. Yeah, that looks like a shell cracker, don't it? The red ear, though. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's got a red spot. Yeah, that's on a hook out there, so. I'll never get her off this part, fish. This adventure got timed out. Hitch by hitch said seven. I didn't miss adventure get thumbed up. No, she didn't. Yeah, no, she said, I did not hubby of mine, and she made well, she my mad face. <laughs> Seagull said, dang AA, sleeping on the couch. That was the second one. Jefferson said, I like chicken wings and beef and potatoes. It seems to be too simple these days. Chicken wings are good. I don't like chicken wings. You ask Travis, I'm always on chicken wings. My favorite thing to do with curry is simple. Walk over to the trash can and dump it in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Lisa said. Our cat said, "Great live cooking weird stuff, buffing wheels, and catching carp." <laughs> the catfish are still elusive. Jo look how dirty my butt got. <laughs> uh, yeah, Josh said it was a uh, carp ba baklava. Carp baklava. Carp and baklava. Yeah, BT's uh. Tag bait seems to work pretty good if there's carp out there. <laughs> I think that's bigger than the last one. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> How many months has that stuff been in my feed right here? You gonna weigh that one? It's been there a while. And it didn't uh, mold or nothing. I think it's been in there six months. It ain't been in there six months. They want it weighed. I don't know. And it looks scary. Oh, we're fishing for whatever money. Hang on, say oh. it. Hit comment. Hey, so what kind of carp is that? Is that a common carp? Uh, well, Bug Central, yeah. Like in the kayak, rolling if it's over 34 inches, it's tarp eligible. You don't have to get the length, but <laughs> cool to know it. None of them, I don't think, we're over 34. Yeah, I don't think so. Dale said, A.A. Hey, hey, running me off with his wrong curry opinions. <laughs> curry should make a good giveaway patch. Driveway patch. Driveway <laughs> patch. Yeah, Bobby said curry should make a good driveway patch. We're going to have to put him back in if, uh, 
Here, I'll give Jake, welcome to Cindy's Live. I made that connection about two hours ago. Okay. I can't hold that up no more, Mars. So. We're going to miss the release. <laughs> He's gone. He was out. I'll never get her off this cart fish. <laughs> I'll never get her off this cart fishing. Why would you want to? <laughs> Dale said, wife has work tomorrow, so it's an early bedtime. See you tomorrow. See ya. We'll see you, Mo Dogs. Angela said, no, he wouldn't put me in time. <laughs> wouldn't time me out, Sin. Catch seven more carps, Cindy, Dale said. I'll try. Have a good night, Dale. Good job on the carps, Cass Blast said. It, it's been fun catching them. Angela said, no, he wouldn't time me out, Cindy. He wants to sleep sometime this week. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rogers said, that's a hog right there. Now, I have to say, with... Hitch right Hitch said, Sicko is here. Mm -hmm. With the way the catfish is biting right now. The carp is a good substitute to throw a few rods out there and right. I mean, it's I mean, dragging know, something in, yeah. Mister Rogers said that's a beautiful common carp. We used to call them suckers or something whenever I was a kid. And if they're having that buffalo run down there, you need to go down and make some videos. If they're in there real thick like that, I'll have to ask if it's still going on. It only lasts two or three days. But I mean, they're thick in there. It's far up and down the creek, as you can see. Mm -hmm. They come up into Co Creek. Troy said, say goodnight to Mid-South for me, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Cash Blast said, it's common carp there. They have the yellow-orange color and have two yellow-orange whiskers, sort of like a catfish. It's right on top of their lip, yeah. Really? Mr. Rogers said, if you haven't ate one, they're good eating, by the way. They're thick. Like, you can feel their, their meat is solid. <laughs> That's going to give me some comments. <laughs> solid, thick meat. It's solid, thick meat. I mean, really, they're solid fish. You know, you, a bass's belly is squeezy. Squeezy. You know, they're, they're <laughs> fluffy, like, I don't know. But... Them carved, no, -uh. they're tough. Josh said, Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to bed. I go, la 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 Josh is gonna dream about baklava tonight. You have to tell us if you do, Josh. And go to Cindy's channel to order your baklava today. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my. We need to put a link in my there. merch link. We need, we need to put a link on there for baklava. Baklava. He said, "Bobby, how's that garage looking?" He's been working on that thing steadily. Just remember, I don't remember the name of his base store, but it's three miles east of Watts Bar Dam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thompson's Outdoors. Something, yeah, something like that. No, it's not Thompson's yeah, Outdoors. No it's something else now. Bullets and Barbecue. Hey, what's up? Tommy said, Buffalo are way better fighters. That's a buffalo run that they have up at Citico. Is that that one that, remember we was on the boat with uh, Anthony and went over and netted them two carp? One of them was a buffalo and one of them was a common carp. Okay. I do remember that. Because it was weird looking. The one that we were c cutting up over there on the dock was the common carp, I'm pretty sure. We cut both of them up. Oh, well, the first one, I guess. Bobby said, same as yesterday, half done, storms blowing grain in the garage did help wash the floors. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson said, ha ha, too easy, Cindy. Yeah, I caught myself on that one. Catching up, catching up, catching up. 
Jake said, I accomplished my goal today. Ignored sicko all night. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson said, how's it going, Tony? Hey, Jeff Bill, what's up? Jeff Bill's going to have an interesting tournament. It's the DIY fishing pole. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a cool one. Hess said, well, I'm going to bed as well. Good night, everyone. Thank you for the birthday wishes. See you next time. Tell Ken we said hey. Well, good night. And good night. Bakaba. Really? Mr. Rogers said, I caught some and figured I can't knock it until I try it. And it was actually one of the best tasting fish I've had. Hmm. Lisa said, Jake, that's so sweet of you. I still haven't uh, released my mail call video. No, I think more a uh, buddy of mine, Jeff. He uh, he uh, uh, lives here on the lake on Loudon, <laughs> and uh, the apparently TWRA was shocking fish the other day. Really? And they was actually the only ones they was keeping was the catfish to test them for the mercury. Oh, okay. Jeff Bill said. Hey, bullshit, but he didn't use any words. <laughs> All emoji. Night, Queen has. <laughs> Bobby said, damn, why did I mention baklava? Now I got to go get the ingredients and make some. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Angela. Good night, Angela. I got about 20. Six minutes left, and I have to go. I have got to be responsible and leave and go, go get to bed. Bed. I don't want to be. You got to go to bed. What's that, Nate? We're done, Nate. Josh said, uh oh, you're in trouble. I'm behind, too. Am I hair rigging the carp? Nope. I've got some hair rigs, but I have no idea how to use them. We're just using, actually, <laughs> actually, Travis took the uh, the curly tails off of some lead heads and rigged three up on a line. It's a skipjack rig, and then he put pack bait on those and pitched it out there, and that's what they're hitting on. We're catching them on skipjack rigs. We caught one on a worm. Didn't we? we did catch one on the, the first one, one on a worm, yeah. And then I took a skipjack rig and... I've got a hair rig, uh, hair rig outfit thing in the method feeder. I mean, I'm I'm just not sure how you like. You just tie it to your regular line, and yeah, I don't know. Thompson's out. It is Thompson's outdoor and more. You were right. I was wrong. I thought he said it was something else last time. Three miles east of Watts Bar Dam, we don't have baklava. Well, dang it. Well, well, that ain't no good. Make some baklava. Put baklava across the top. Yeah, of the I've got some method floor. feeders and some little, and I've got boilies. <laughs> but so far, just putting JBT's pack bait on there. Yeah, I just kind of squashed it up. Troy's still here. And then put it on them. Uh, I actually, I actually started just covering that lead head with it and leaving the hook exposed just a little bit. But uh, bullets and barbecue said, "Do you catch many carp at night?" We don't never fish for them. This is the first time. <laughs> and we caught that. We caught that one at night, didn't we? Yeah, it was dark when we caught that last one. Jake said, getting on the plane, take care, everyone. But Dale, I can't wait for the car detailing live coming soon. Later, Cindy, Travis. <laughs> Travel safe, Jake. Have a good one, Jake. We'll see you. Talk to you soon. Gas Blast said it's not too hard. Next time we meet up, I'll show you my method lead and hair re setup. Okay. Method lead and hair. Okay. I have that stuff in my bag. Otter said, careful, Hitch. Tony said, Bach, lava. He's gagging <laughs> the whole time he says it. It's like Bach, lava. Bach, lava. <laughs> <laughs> Wind, stop it. It's been comfortable out here. I don't know if I got them. It's my flannel. Yeah, I think about it all out here. 
mean, it's a little on the cool side. My toes are a little cold, but. It's a whole lot better than it was over the winter. But there's bugs. There's trade-offs for everything. <laughs> Josh said, Danielle said, you've actually been behaving tonight. Okay, gotta go. Well, every night is not, yeah, every night is not a free-for-all. It just kind of meanders the chat and everything. Tonight we got stuck on foods and desserts and stuff. Everybody must have been hungry. If Travis starts doing car detailing lives, we're going to have to take a trip to Tennessee, Troy said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like cleaning them that much. I just couldn't stand the wood looking at her wheels anymore. Like he that. has fussed at me about these them wheels for for months. <laughs> a month or two. <laughs> well, watch and see if it don't rain or something again. It's supposed to rain all weekend. Them dang things will look just like they did in two or three I mean, days. They was looking black. Well, then people wouldn't have known that they weren't black. <laughs> <laughs> There's that duck. Oh, it is. Lisa said, y'all have fun. I'm out. Been a long day. Having a night, Lisa. Jefferson said, I still have to figure out something for dinner. Probably won't be fancy like baklava for dessert. Uh -huh. <laughs> you may be hungry. Let's give you some food. Come on, fish. Last did you better be glad you did not sit down. You didn't need them for anything. Really? What? Did you know what they were? Uh, no, Jefferson no. said, I hope I can detail the inside of my truck this weekend. It's getting pretty rough after all winter. Man, I've got to take mine and wash it, my car. I have to do the inside of my car so bad I can't stand it. You had chicken, catfish, and hut pus puppies. Troy. Ah, uh, Greg said, hello, Cindy. I'm 79 degrees, no wind. I wish I was fishing. We've got some wind, and it's not quite 79 degrees. Why are you not fishing? Exactly. Gerald said, good night, Cindy and Travis. Good night, everyone in chat. Good night. Fun live. Catch y'all tomorrow. Thank you for the good time. Not a problem. We always enjoy having everybody in. You know it. Definitely. I've got to hang out with my peeps a lot this week. It's been fun. Peeps. The peeps. <laughs> my peeps. peeps. Trying to catch these carp. So let me see. Rustic's going to have a skipjack tournament. Skipjack tournament. And that's what? Is that in the morning? I think at like nine over there, Kentucky. All right. And Cass Blast said 10 minutes ago there was a swarm of bugs on the stream. Now they're gone. The wind started blowing. Yep. There's still a few diehards down there, but yeah, that wind picked up and blew them away. We went to the beach last week and we'll be getting sand out of the truck for a month. Yep. Man, I tell you what, I would have been more inclined, and I did go wash the car more before they up my hours. I just don't want to do nothing extra. Maybe go fishing, but that's just to relax. I've actually felt better this week because I went fishing. I'll be stressing out because I'm behind on stuff at the house, but eh. Cass said, I got my third baitcaster fish today. Bait caster. Oh, on, on the bait caster. No. Oh, cast blast. We got a bait caster uh, reel. We're gonna give away next week. So make sure you're in there. Cast blast. Yeah, we're having uh, my fifteen thousand subscriber giveaway. Not this coming weekend, but next weekend, next Saturday. I've actually got the live already set. Man, you should. Say, I was on the line today working on my thumbnail. 
And the first one, uh, I made it to where the, the, you know how it cut that down? You couldn't put the whole thing on the thumbnail. You had to cut it down. It was oh, too tall. Right. It was too big. So I put all the print on it. I found one that didn't have anything written on it of that background that we use. Right. And I put the print on it, and I went to go put it on there. I made the live and went to go put it on there. No, it was too big. Ah. It was too wide. It cut off the print on the top and the bottom. So I deleted that one and went back in there. And I had used that one, that thumbnail. Mm. Couldn't use it again and didn't have it again. So I found another one that didn't have any writing on it. Wasn't as good a one. And I squished mm. it all together in the middle. <laughs> I was like, crap. But I'm doing this while I'm working the assembly line. <laughs> and I was like, dang it. I go in lives and everything. Our line sometimes is so slow. Uh oh, about to catch one. Which one? That the little. Yep. Is that gonna worm on it? Yellow rod. The yellow rod. The little one, yeah. No, that's a pack bait. You'll pop in for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm about. Uh, I don't know exactly how many. 30 something, I think. We got a scale. I'm 30 something from 16,000. We got a scale and a. A, a rappella scale. Then that, what do you call it? Uh, There's a, a game camera, camera. Game camera. And then a reel, a bait cast a reel. And then $50 her, her hookers terminal tackle um, code. Yeah, and then we got some other bait tackle stuff. Tony's sending some stuff. A bunch of bass hats stuff and stuff, there, and then I've got an, um, my wild home sending a hat. Yeah. Or actually, you'll have to contact him about getting the hat, but yeah, lots of good stuff. Sticker packs, sticker packs, sticker packs. Yeah. If you want to send stickers for me to give away, then send them. Troy said, I only use bait cast reels on the surf. The spinning reels will cut your fingers with braid as hard as you have to cast them. Yeah. AutoCAD put a whole bunch of periods in there. AutoCAD. Is everybody subscribed to AutoCAD? Oh, that was his content there, all them little, <laughs> all them little dogs. <laughs> That second one's still getting a bite. Something got a bite. Well, I'd like to see that first one just bury you. Slam open. over. That might have been what it was, actually. I hope it does. Fifteen minutes. Come on, fish. I'd like to catch catfish. The catch and the carp's fun, but I still want to catch catfish. Cast bass said, I got a personal bass, white, personal best white bass, personal bass. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a new word for your biggest bass is your personal bass. The personal bass. Personal best bass, white bass, recently two pounds, 16 and three eighths inches. Dang. Yeah, there's some places we go skipjack fishing that you can catch some big white bass. Two of them and you could feed a family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hand-tied jigs by the famous YouTuber. I don't have my list here. Yeah, uh, I'm so glad you said that. Yeah, there's going to be 12 total. I'm, uh, we'll separate them into sets of two. Two sets of six. <laughs> Who's hand tying them? Otter Cat. Otter Cat is hand tying them? Yes. That's written on my list. It looks like a great pot spot to catch fish. They're being spiteful, so probably a lot of females in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, tell us how you real feel. Hmm. Listen to that.
Otter Cat, that's my favorite YouTuber, <laughs> Troy said. <laughs> Otter Cat is my favorite YouTuber. You always keep track of how many fish I've caught and how big they were, Otter Cat. You have to be my favorite YouTuber. Don't be surprised if you hear me say that about other ones, so. <laughs> mm. Jefferson said, ha ha, just kidding, kind of. <laughs> just kind of. I'm kind of kidding. Bitter much? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe these trees didn't suffer more in that windstorm. It must not have come right through here, the one that hit Lenore City. Yeah. It, it tore the hound out of them cedar trees. It sure did. This one over here, though, ain't going to last a whole lot longer. It's leaning and it's underwashed. It's leaning bad. Mm -hmm. There was one like that on the hill above my mom's house before I moved out. I didn't know what to do about it. So one of the people that bought it had the, the insurance company made them hire somebody to cut it down. And they really couldn't control the fall because it was leaning like that. And part, it, they cut like a section of it out and it hit the roof of the garage. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. Just kidding, kind of. Y'all talking on last night about that box or night before last about that box I'm supposed to send to Sandy. Y'all got me scared. <laughs> uh oh. Bulls and Barbecue said Beaver was working my local lake pretty hard over the winter I saw the other day. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Mm -hmm. There's some one of the places we go fishing has quite a few of them beavers, and they get mad, slap that water with their tail. Who was it? Mid South said, "I'm back. Anyone care?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mid South said, "Troy, you two timer." Troy said, I thought you went to bed with Seagull mid south. <laughs> they had to tell each other good night. <laughs> well, some barbecues it said, probably shouldn't say beaver in here, though. I don't know why not. Beavers have wood. Mid South said Seagull won't cheat on Mo Dog. What's up, Bud Files? Well, that was a pretty good tug for it not to lead anywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. He missed the hook, did he? He must have. Oh, there he was. <laughs> Jefferson said, I hope it's not too bad, Cindy, but there are going to be a lot of things in that box. Filling out the customs paper is what's going to be a, a B word. The lady at the post office the other day told me I was going to have to probably do it online. Customs paper only has six spots. I said, what am I supposed to do? Fill out 12 customs papers. <laughs> They'll probably hold that crap at the airport, too. They probably won't let, let her have it. They're, she'll probably have to go pay an, a fee. You like? Somebody sent a whole bunch of crazy stuff from the United States to Australia. <laughs> there ain't no way the same person would have sent this kind of stuff. We have to open it up. It's 
like there's something fishy about this. Mm -hmm. Mid South said, Jefferson, you don't want a box that has had too many things in it. Why not? <laughs> That box is knowledgeable. <laughs> it said all the things. <laughs> Jefferson said, <laughs> very true, men sell. <laughs> the wise one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I just have to stand up for misjudged boxes. <laughs> it's okay to have had things in lots of boxes, but it's not okay for a box to have had lots of things in it. I just don't get a double standard. <laughs> <laughs> Jefferson said, "Old wise box over there." <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> the wise box won't stand. <laughs> it always manages to derail somehow. And we didn't have, we had uh, Angela in here. <laughs> and we had Hess in here, but we didn't have any of the instigators in here tonight. We <laughs> just said, I try not to find a box to realize it's how small the contents are. <laughs> <laughs> a box that is, uh, it's, not knowledgeable. <laughs> oblivious. Mid South wants an oblivious box. Maybe they will. He will say, "Baklava box." <laughs> baklava. How do you feel about baklava, Mid South? <laughs> Troy said they sell small boxes, Mid South. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Confucius box say. Confucius box say. A small box of a box. <laughs> Is buckle of a like warm apple pie? Oh no! <laughs> Is it as good as warm apple pie? Or it'd be tight with all them layers, huh? Watercat said all the good stuff is in the bottom of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Mid self will never find it. Yes, they do. Oh my god, Mid self. He said boxes aren't like fruit of the loom. They don't don't snap back wash after wash. Yes, they do. Otherwise, every woman that ever had a baby would walk around with a box the size of a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't. <laughs> Jefferson said all boxes are good once you get, <laughs> get, past, get in past the use part. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> well tomorrow you said you gotta be able to reach reach them no oh, otters <laughs> Oh, all crazy. And that right there, folks, is called, that's a euphemism, is it not?
Oh, God. Mint South said you can't reach the bottom without diving. Arquette said I challenge anyone to go find a box in the junkyard. A good box never wears out. <laughs> okay. You're right. 922 said, Instigator's figure jaw was doing good on your own, so we just sit back and laugh with y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's weird on some of the lives. Uh, like we, we found out if we have a fire, that chat and stuff is more laid back. It's, it's, it's kind of strange how the surroundings and what's going on around affects everything yeah. and definitely who's in chat that's why i always brag on chat because i have the best chat they keep it going troy said luckily i'm not an instigator <clears throat> <laughs> mid-south said mo dog i agree Mid South, Mid South is. Hey, he's got his uh schizophrenia coming to the rise this uh, week. <laughs> Bobby said, "Right, a a." Hey, what we need to do? Yeah. Is whenever Mo Dog goes live again, we mm -hmm. all need to go in there. And start talking to people that's not in there, and he'll be all confused. I know they were doing it last night, talking about him. They were talking about people, and they finally showed up. Started conjuring people. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, he had been talking to Tony. Uh, Mid South had been talking to Tony, and <laughs> Tony finally came in chat and said, "You rang." <laughs> 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 he's, he's stretched out right everybody but earl came in i think that they'd been acting like was in there jefferson said oh i'll always be dirty if the chat is going that way in that way right i sometimes can't help it i'll say something and i'll be like i wonder if cat, chat's gonna catch on the hell that sounded mm -hmm. <laughs> That duck again. I can just about turn anything dirty though. I say stuff all the time and I'm thinking, oh Lord. If I was the person that I was talking to, I would definitely be having to try not to laugh. Cat said it's been fun stream y'all 10 p.m. now. Stay wearing them out. Good night, Cast. Later, Cat. <clears throat> Mitzel said, Good night, stepson. Because <laughs> he flirted with his mom. <laughs> Take care, Cass, you too, Jefferson. <laughs> Troy said, We just have to mention them and they show up for Cindy. That's funny. Jefferson said it's just funny, so why not right? That's what man, like with this with the bite been shitty like it has been. If I didn't joke around and stuff on here, I, there ain't no way. I'd be I don't know, off exploring or something. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the time pass. Walk over and reel on a third rod for a second. Bullet said, I wouldn't have said beaver in any other stream. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm just not a funny duddy. I think things are funny. Oh, God. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, something bumping on it? Yeah, there's something chewing on it. I figured well. Take, you it, away it, it, hook it. Huh? Take it away from it or hook it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's already 10 o'clock. I know it. I've got two rows. 
Y'all, them lights are bright. Can't see nothing when you turn back around. Don't let the stream. Yeah, there's. If I know the channel is just absolutely like totally not cool with that, then I'll behave. But if I think I can get away with it, I'm going to say so. And especially if somebody else is in the chat that will know what I'm talking about, but it, it'll pass by most everybody else, I'm definitely going to say something. <laughs> Huh. Where are you, catfish? I figured we'd be good on that. It might have been a little bit too big, that shell cracker. Nah, I mean, you know, if they was if them catfish was out there eating, then you've got skipjack and stuff out there, so they just ain't eating right now. You ain't banned from fake book because you're politically correct. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> My brother gets banned all the time. I don't spend enough time on there to get in trouble. What are they doing? Chasing that one duck? Probably. Remember how they were doing? Again. They're after that duck again. It's time. Uh oh. She's playing hard to get. Otter said, I hear duck lava. You hear duck love. <laughs> they have your phone marked. You can't make a new account. For real? <laughs> <laughs> duck, duck, suck, lava. <laughs> Tony just pops up every once in a while. <laughs> say something about, I think he's scarred about the baklava. Duck, duck, sucklava. <laughs> Lifetime band tried five emails and three phones. They still figure me out. Really? <laughs> How did they do that? Probably have to shut your internet off and then. Troy said, I don't think there are many things you can say that anyone in here would get offended by. No, that's why I love you guys. <laughs> no. I mean, it's ridiculous what some of them get offended by. It's, it's so stupid. I know. It. We're not children. They think they're going, they think, oh, we're going to make them, I don't know what they think. I, I guess they think they're going to make a million dollars or something on a YouTube channel or something. Like yeah, okay. Go for it. We'll see you in about 10 years. And I mean, the thing about it is, you know, we, I've said all along, we're on here to have fun. When it stops being fun, you'll stop seeing me. We have a good time. And we are adults, so. Still after that deck. Good Lord, they're going to get in the lines. Look, he keeps trying to fly away. I don't blame her. I would do. There's like four after her. Mid South said, I get offended every time Cindy says no to me. <laughs> That's like a dog being in heat. Bugs and Barbecue said, I ran a VPN. They still figure it out. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> hey, Rob, what's up? Saving the duck. Listen at him, duck lava, duck lava. It's the littler ones way off get there. Away, the get away. Run, duck, run. <laughs> uh, Bobby said, Bullets, problem is all phones running Google platform. That's how they find us out. All, all the phones are running the Google platform. Pulled some barbecue, said I'm going to get her and gab much better. I 
think they escaped. Mid South must get offended a lot by the word no, Troy said. <laughs> I figured he'd be used to it by now. <laughs> well, he said he got offended every time I told him no. I figured the people, there's a, you know, people, a lot of people lurk in here. If, if you don't get, I mean, I figure some of them enjoy the chat, but don't want people to see them enjoying it. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, oh no, I can't say nothing in there. Nine twenty-two said I try to get her, but she runs faster than me. Run, run. <laughs> she got away. They want a picture of me last time I tried. I sent a picture of Trump flipping them off. <laughs> Oh, they get they got your picture, huh? Well, that was weird. The ducks suddenly shut up. No, that yellow rod got to get slack in it. Hmm. I would think that pack bait was gone already. Mm -hmm. But the way them car feet, I don't know if it really matters if the if it's laying down around the hooks. Yeah, if it's laying around that hook, it just kind of sucks the hook in its mouth. Their mouths are bigger than what I had remembered. I was able to get two fingers in. There you go. <laughs> I really do have to go. Okay. She's going to shut her down, people. I am. I got to go home. I got to get some sleep. Consistently running on four or five hours. You know, it's going to get me. What's up, Curtis? You got a boat coming in. We do, Kurt. Channels love to slack your line. They do it all the time, you yep. know. Is it the one with the fish on it? No, it's this yellow one over here. Oh, it went, went back tight again. Oh, it kind of did. It did slack it, but... It did so yeah. good. Got me young. Good night, it Tony. Did, uh, it did slack it much, but... I mean, there wasn't no reason for it to... Mm hmm Two slides. What I probably should have done was uh, I put the uh, put a worm on that middle hook. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that would have been cool. And two of the pack bait I had a pack bait on each end of it. And Curtis, I caught three carp tonight. Good night, Scotty. Good night, Scotty. Scotty, Scotty. Good night. Good night, Scotty. Good night, Scotty. He said, I, Curtis said, Cunningham said, I keep coming in at the end of the live. I work too much. I hear you. We'll be able to stay live a little later over the weekend. So, Ned South said, Travis can stay live. He has nothing better to do. <laughs> <laughs> My phone won't pick up right here. He don't have service. Cass said, it's been a fun stream, Cindy. Stay wearing out the carps, cats, and skips. You know it. Now that I'm actually. I've I actually caught some. <laughs> so we won't do it all time, man. Nine twenty two said that's what she said. Michelle said it's been fun as you good night all. Let us let me know when you get that what was it? Horny honey? The horny honey. The horny honey. Honey horny. Horny honey. Yeah, Bulls and Barbecue said, you ever just put pack bait on the bell sinker? Um, no. I mean, this is like the, f we haven't been fishing for carp very long. <laughs> Curtis said, what bait or rig you use? Uh, we just put pack bait. We took the, Travis took the curly tails off of a skipjack three Three jigs. Yeah. 
and then Indeed. just kind of pack the pack bait around there and slung it out there. The first one we caught on a worm, but after that, he's just packing pack bait around the hook. That's it. That then the rest were catfish uh, rods. The lead head on that, uh, I guess you call it jig hook, whatever you know what I'm saying. Uh, I, I figured out at the end there, it was easier to pack it around the lead yeah. the jig head. The lead, just pack it around it and leave the hook sticking out a little bit. Because when I tried to pack it around the hook, it seemed to just come off. I guess because the thin hook. But when I packed it around the the lead part of it real good, and it seemed to stay on there better. Not Bobby. Um Bulls and barbecue. I never. We never really targeted car carp Here, either. But you. catfish uh, bite has been really, really bad. So, and I've been hearing people talk about how how good carp bite. So I just started to try to start catching some carp. Catfish won't bite. I'm gonna try to catch something that bites good. They said carp bite real good. So. I'll tell you, I'll pack Curtis said, I bought a bunch of carp gear last summer. I only tried a few times. No luck. This is what I've done. Is I just took the... Uh, I think it's wide over here. <laughs> but that's what I've done. Is I just took the, the curly tails off of my... Off of my jig heads. And I just put the pack bait right onto it. Mm. Because we usually use three. Otter Cat said, she said, we, Travis, get ready. <laughs> wee, wee. Yay. Guess what I said? Dog and I try some shallow grass flats up in creeks. They'll be up in there somewhere. I got my carp feeders off Amazon. Six packs for like 15 bucks. Uh, the little cages. What attempt do carp spawn? I have no idea. I need to check Mid that. Mid-60s bullets and barbecue. On the way home tonight, I'm going to stop that old creek up there and check and sift her up in there. Oh, yeah. The one you, you we stopped at that night. Yeah. Carper fun, I only ever caught them on accident. Yeah, the, they fight real hard. It was kind of fun targeting them with this uh, pack bait and actually catching them. Yeah. They they really do like it. Are you, is this what you're talking about with the... Um, Hang on a second. Good thing. You catch them all? Yeah. We've been trying to catch some catfish, but we end up catching carp and bread ears. I have to see if they can see these. But I got these. It's got that fake corn on it. Method feeders, I think they're called. See? You pack them in there and it stays, Travis. Mm. You pack it in there and it stays. Well, the pack bait. So where's the hook? It's right there. It's got that oh. fake corn on it. So they chew around it and suck that in the mouth and get hooked. Yeah, that, that just lets it slowly. They don't really chew down on it. I think it just slowly lets it dissolve and come out of there. Until and then they suck up the uh, corn. And then I've got the, I think these are hair rigs. I don't know if y'all can see them. They're little bitty hooks on a cloth piece of line. I've got them, and then I've got some of JBT's boilies. You can use no roll weights instead of method leads feeders. If your pack bait is tacky enough, if not, add more breadcrumbs. Taste your pineapple. What about pineapple in your pack bait? Not bought. Well, that sounds like a good idea. These are metal cages. Yeah, they're metal.
Penelope. That's a good little for carpet, I think. Yep. Good to go. I, I didn't use these tonight. Do you just like, do you put a swivel on it on your main line and, and just clip them to it? Or I'm just really not sure how to set them up. It's got a, it's got a swivel already on it. So I'm assuming you just hook that to your main line. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. If I'm really stressed out, hell, I might go fishing tomorrow, but I, I doubt it. I got to pack and stuff for Travis since it's weekend, and I need to rest, and I want to watch that movie uh, Fallout. So I may get to do that. Use it like a sinker. That method feeder. I got bullies and everything. I mean, I'm set up for carp fishing. I just need to make some more pack bait. Oh, All right. See you guys later. Next time. Bye, Troy. Cast Blast. Otter Cat. Bullets and Barbecue, John Boy, Mary Ellen, Jim Bob, and all the rest of you. Bye, everybody. In the head. Peace. Peace.